Oh, now no one here is fit. <laughs> he's still alive. He's kicking and screaming. There's blood down his face. And he can't get down. He's, he's a good 20 feet up, and there's something wrapped around his waist. And he can't remove it from himself. And everyone's just screaming, like, somebody get him down, get him down! And they're like, somebody get a ladder, get a ladder! And then there's another person, like, I don't know where the ladders are, I don't, I don't work here, I'm just a tenant, but I don't know! I have been maneuvering around all night, so I should know A, where the ladders are, and also, I have birds up in the ceiling. Yes, you know where the ladders are. So, roll me and act under pressure. I'm cool. You got this. I'm cool. That is an eight. You get an eight. All right. Ugh. So I'm going to give you a hard choice. So you do know where the ladder is, for sure. But the ladder that's going to be able to reach him is quite heavy, and you will need assistance to get it. So you're going to, one, need to get someone else to go help you get this ladder, and two, you're not entirely sure if you'll make it back in time with the ladder. So either you go to get the ladder now, or you try to find a different way to get him down without the ladder. 20 feet up above? 20 feet up, yep. The tallest person in the room while jumping can't even reach him. Is there perhaps a comically ascendant set of tables, perhaps with a cake on it, oh. that I can bound off of with the aid of my avian friends to reach him and... Well, no, that would be bad if I grabbed his leg and pulled. That yeah, that really might not bad. help. That would be really bad now that I think about it. Shit. You uh, might be able to do it with a table. If you find the tallest person in the room, the highest standing table might give you enough to get to his waist and untie him. All right, I, uh... Can I Richard in the room. With that as well? Yeah, you want to roll a help out? Yeah. Richard is in the room for sure. To do. Is Richard's Rich freaking out in the corner. Is he's Richard, hyperventilating. Is Richard tall-ish? Richard's so big. Richard's probably a good 5'9". All right, good 5'9". I would say you would know best who's the tallest person in the room just from your rounds. And the tallest person in the room is someone you haven't actually interacted with at all yet tonight. But he, you did see him sitting at one of the tables, writing on his laptop. It's a man that you do know. His name is Doug Barnes. And a quick glance around the room, you do see him over by the refreshments table. And he looks, like, concerned. But he, he looks like he wants to help, but he doesn't know how. Mm, that's upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the rush over to Doug... And as we do that, I tell Xander, I look at Xander, Xander, I need you to get get to a table, maneuver under there, and put a chair or two under there for oh, balance. Yeah, I can do that. Or on top of it for balance, for yeah. like extra height. For sure, for sure. And I go to Doug and say, Doug, I need you to, Doug, I need you to be a hero for America. What, 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 what do you need me to do? What, what? You, either on my shoulders or I on your shoulders, I'm going to untie that man before he expires. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. And then uh, Xander's gonna run over to you, William. And be like, hey, hey, can you can you give me a hand? I gotta I gotta move this table. I need some chairs. We gotta we gotta go fast. We gotta go fast. Okay, I can go fast. Cool. So everybody works in unison. You and Xander get that table and the chair over there. And then Barnaby, you and Doug just jump up on the table, all super quick. Like, go ahead and yep. And there is a chair on top of it too for extra yep, boosted yep. height. So go ahead and roll me, act under pressure, and I'm going to give you a plus two on this since you have so much help. Woo! Oh god, I need that help. Oh no. That's a five plus six plus eight. That's an yeah, eight. eight. God eight damn it, another one. <laughs> god damn it. So sure, it's another hard choice because you, you love the hard choice for some reason. I don't know. This might be a price to pay, actually. You sacrifice your hand. So, I'm going to say, as you're trying to untie him, you notice he's tied with really thick wire. Wire that seems to be knotted, and it looks like it's actually cutting off his circulation a bit, too. So, I'm going to say, 
if you have a utensil or something you can use to cut I have it. throwing knives on me that if I can cut away at the clothing around his waist, that will loosen him. You can do that for sure, but you might run the risk of breaking your knife. Well, a knife. Well, I'm like aiming to like m- clip off the buttons of his shirt and like loosen that. So yeah, yeah maneuver yeah. under. So yeah, that's my aim. Okay, so if that's your aim, I'm going to give you... Yeah, yeah, go ahead and do that. There might be there might be something that comes of that later, though. Yeah, so just a uh, roll standard harm, tough? Uh, you don't even have to roll. This is still part of your right, act so, under yeah. pressure. Yep. <laughs> so kink, kink, you go to do that, kink, kink. and as you, like, take it, like, as you, like, get the shirt kind of loosened up, you notice lacerations across his body that were hidden by his shirt. They all look fresh. They're very large, and they're bleeding a lot. So, Doug, call for medical right now. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. He starts running away. No, god damn it! And I can see all this too, right? Yeah, you see all this. Does too. that match Whoa. the the vision you the had? The vision of the premonition I had. It right absolutely there. does. You see the blood around his face. You see everything. So you you did actually have something with your premonition if you act to help that, didn't you? Hmm? Didn't didn't your premonition have something added if you act to help with that or act to prevent the outcome? Um, I rolled that was the seven to nine, right? I didn't mean to. I believe it was thing. seven to nine. Yeah. Uh, mark experience if you stop it was the other thing. Yeah. Gotcha. So we so still need to finish stop. it before. Anything cool, else. cool. I wanted to double check because I knew there was something connected to the premonition. I wanted to make sure that we got to the point where we paid that off. So. You see the lacerations, you get the shirt unbundled, it, it is enough to help him slide out. The problem is, you don't have enough leverage to slide him out and hold him up. You, you will need extra help to slide him out without him straight up tumbling 20 feet. The pigeons. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think the pigeons are strong enough is for that Is that something one. I could roll and act under pressure for? Yeah, for sure. This climbs up us. <laughs> Because you've already moved the table and chair over, so like you and you and Xander kind of just on standby right now. No, you know what? I'm gonna call out for Kristen McAdams. Like, Kristen McAdams, you be an influencer. You can oh be the God. best influence right now if you come up here and save this man. Oh my you Lord! You will be the best influence. Christ! What did you roll, William? That's going to be a seven plus seven plus. Active my pressure. cool is minus one. So, oh, so you get a six. six. Damn it! You get a six. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So sure did. I still have that life. Mark line. experience. So, <laughs> oh no! Yes, mark experience. Well, having someone die in front of you is an experience. <laughs> so I'm gonna say you go up there to try to assist in like giving them the leverage they need to get him like jostled out and then as you guys are like working together to jostle him out you notice that this binding around him is a lot tighter than you thought it was and it starts to dig into his actual flesh fuck all right um... and he just starts screaming and kicking He's just like, get this out of me. It hurts so much. Oh, my God. So he's, from his neck. he's not hanging from his neck. No, not from his neck. It's okay, like around I was like, the God, waist. Yeah, he's, he's gonna but it's home. digging into his waist. All right. Um... Is there a greenskeeper in the room? Not that you're aware of, Shit. no. Uh... So far, here's what you have. Out of everybody that you've encountered with to draw from, you have a journalist, you have a novelist who is currently helping you try to save this man already, you've got Holton Troy, who's kind of just watching from the stage, petrified, you've got the attorney's brother Richard, you've got Benson somewhere. (laughs) Well, he's not in sight. He's He's somewhere. He's probably got some terrifying, like, Edward Scissorhands toy. Like, it can save him. You've got the chef, Dennis. You've got the influencer, Kristen. And then you've got the snotty Asian girl, Amy. Those are the people in the near vicinity that can help you out right now. Doug Barnes. Oh, yeah, he's a derp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your novelist. Uh... Oh, and you got Xander, too. Xander. Okay, so... 
I ask Xander, does he have a multi-tool on him? He, like, looks and he finds, like, a really, like, shitty one. It looks like he got it from, like, the dollar store. It's just, like, it, it's got a compass on it and it, it's got, like, one of those little nail does files. A can, does it have a can opener? Uh, it's got a bottle opener. <laughs> I'm sorry. He looks like he's about to cry. Greenskeeper here, I could tell him run out to the thing and get like the, the hedge clippers or something and just like shove it in. You you notice like as you guys are trying to game plan this that Alan is making this worse. His panicking is making the wire dig into him more. So someone should maybe calm him down. Okay. Uh, um, uh, maybe I should just put him out of his misery with my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> no! Just go across the room so with no your one luck, sees you'll him. miss and hit me. <laughs> well, no, how good is your tough, though? Do you have a tough modifier? Well, his dice plus just appeared down the drain, so... <laughs> yeah, plus one to yeah. shoot. Not your friend, that might work. <laughs> no. No, plus so... one to avoid a Dick Cheney. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay, I scream for Benson to show himself and give an... Show off a toy that could save this man. <laughs> a toy that can save him. Do you actually do that? Yes. Do it. What do you say? Benson, get your ass out here and save this man. I know you've got some horrific horror show of a of a novelty item that can do it. Like a like a duck with alligator teeth that can chew through. No, the I'm planning on like oh, some God. Edward, some like a platypus with like scissor hands oh, attached. Oh God. So Benson actually does sort of like worm his way out a little bit. He's like Hi. hiding behind a support beam. You can see him poking his head out. He's just like, I, 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 me, really me. And like he he wa- he runs over and he you trips. Get over here and we can commute your sentence. He he like trips and just hits his head on the table that you guys are like steadying against. And he doesn't knock himself out, but he's like he's, he's got a nosebleed now. Okay, he's I was like, like, did he knock the table off my We're all gonna no, fucking No, die. you're wrong. It shakes a little bit, and that makes Alan freak out a little bit more. Because, like, you guys are shaking now. Benson, and, like, you're holding on to him. Carefully! I'm sorry! And he, like, he, he has, like, this big duffel bag. He starts, like, rummaging <laughs> through it, trying to find a toy that'll work, and, like, he, he, he finds, like, this little baby doll, and he tosses it to you, Barnaby, and all the right. baby doll just has an alligator head. Will that work? <laughs> Will that help? I, is it like a wind-up toy or something? It's not even a wind-up toy. It's a plush toy. I don't know. He, he, he throws another toy at you. It's like this weird flamingo with hands for feet. But the hands are made of like a thick plastic. Will that help? I, I'm sorry. There's no way to get this cable untied. All right, there? I am going to... Tell Alan to breathe calmly and attempt to breathe out and make yourself as thin as possible. Roll to... Act under pressure, manipulate someone. I'll give you either act under pressure or manipulate. Go with act under pressure because I have at least a bonus to that. Cool, cool. Where? Where? Did you lose your dice? They're right there. Oh, they're right there. Oh, they're nice. hiding in the lip. Come on. You got this. Get it, Barnaby. That's a seven. That's an eight. Two. Act under pre- God damn it. Oh, so Can close. I do a help out roll? Yeah, go for it. Like I'm being encouraging to. Yeah, yeah. The help out. You, you need a 12 plus for this, honestly. That's a three. <laughs> oh, God. Mark experience. Have you leveled up yet? No. Are you only got one experience. Lord. God dang it. You need to roll things you're less good at. No. <laughs> so, I'm going to say... I could have protected him. So, you're act under pressure. Well, you can't protect him right now because you don't know what the immediate... Like, who is putting him in danger. Uh... So for your act under pressure, but I could protect him, okay, but get some of the harm. Possibly, I can make, I can attorney my way through no. this. So finishing your act under pressure roll, I'm gonna say. Here is your difficult choice. 
he's struggling really badly. And your knowledge gives you the foresight to know that if he goes on like this, even another minute longer, he's going to lose too much blood between the lacerations and then this wire digging into him. So you can either A, make one last attempt to try to loosen this and get him to like suck his way out so he can slip out, or B, you do look up and you see that this is suspended from somewhere. Somewhere you could possibly reach if you're quick enough. Before we resolve this, I'm going to let you think about that. While this is going on, mm -hmm. can I look around the room and is there anyone behaving strangely that we haven't yet noticed? Ooh, I like that. I like that. Re roll read a bad situation. All right. So I get a plus one to that. And I roll a nine. So I got a ten. ten. Hold three, my dude. All right. <sighs> Okay, I guess would that fall under are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Is there anything suspicious going on? Oh, absolutely. Around the room? So your first question was, are there any dangers we haven't noticed? Anything suspicious, yeah. So, as you're looking around, you notice a very swift movement from the stage behind uh Holton. It's like a shadow almost, but not like a shadow in, oh, this is the shadow left by somebody that was just moved, like, that was just walking out of, like, you know, frame or the area. They were moving so fast that it was just a physical blur that you saw. Okay. And they disappeared behind stage. All right. You got two more you can ask me. You can save them if you'd like, or you can ask me them now. Let's see. No. What's the best way to protect the victims? Is there another route or means of saving this dude we haven't picked up on? Similar to what I started explaining to Barnaby, but I can explain it in more detail for you for your role. You also now notice that this string is connected to one of the uh, rafter beams. So it's as if somebody tied him up draped him over the beam and then strung him up so you know that that is tied down to somewhere on the second floor okay so it's yeah i i will actively assist like like i will be like pointing blame like second floor tie him please okay there's no way i think i can get up there in the time yeah between could. like being on the chair and like holding on to alan you probably won't make like it. i'm gonna try going with plan a while he attempts to work with plan b cool cool yeah, I can do that. Do you want to act on that now, or do you want to use your last hold? I would like to act on that, because if I act on that, I get plus one of my rolls, right? Yes, you do. Okay. Go for it. I'd like to go for plan B, go up to the second floor, and untie from there. All right. Meanwhile, I'm going to... So it's going to be an act under pressure. Act under pressure. Yep. Great, another minus one roll. But now it evens out, though. Yeah, exactly. So basically, whatever I roll here... Seven. Seven. Seven's not terrible. <laughs> no. It's not the best, but it's not terrible. All right. Well, I am attempting plan A. All right. So, I'm going to say, while you're attempting plan A, you start to realize that this is not going to come off. And even if he sucks in as much as he can, because he's a smaller person, he just does not have the bone structure to loosen this up anymore. Like, somebody instinctively tied this hoping he wouldn't escape and he'd have no options. And on plan B, you just book it to the backstage where you find like the staircase leading up where they have all the stage equipment. And as you go up there, you're going to, um, you're gonna see the staircase you need to go up to. And then here is where I give you your hard choice. You can either A, act to protect the victim right now. So if you go up there and try to cut him loose, you can potentially save him for sure, but you will expose yourself to harm. Yeah. Or you can take a more defensive stance down here in case there's something you haven't seen yet that might try to hurt you. So essentially it's, do you protect yourself in this moment or do you go to save the victim? Um, I'll go up to save him. All right. So- Damn the torpedoes. 
you rush up those stairs and you get up to like the scaffolding and just a couple feet down like the little platform you see where this wire is tied up it's like rigged to a bunch of sandbags all clumped together and you know if you just slice that real quick you will drop right into barnaby's arms for you sure you still have the na- the nick jackal knife I you do. do you still have the nick I jackal have nick knife jackal in this knife so are you going to go cut him free uh, is that another act under pressure? No, no, that's that, that's still going to be part of your one right now. Oh, right? okay. That's still going to be part of the following you're in choice. danger now. Yes, you are in danger now. Okay. Um, then that is what I will do. Yeah, I'll go try and cut him. Cool, cool. Cut him slice, down. slice, slice. So you go to slice him down, and as you're cutting, you hear this weird clicking sound from behind you. And it's very faint. It's it's like a rattling almost. Very hollow rattle. And as you're like sawing at it, you you just get the um you just get the wire cut. And he frees into your arms, Barney. <sighs> He's safe. Alright. You have Done. successfully slowly, protected slowly, slowly. him. And as that wire snaps, you hear a heavy breathing. Do you choose to turn and look at it? This either has to be the shadow from earlier, that's probably what it is. Or Holton's still on the stage? Or did Holton is still stage? on the stage. Okay. He's still there. I'll, I'll say that you can probably get a good like layout of the room from where you're at right now. Okay. So you definitely see Holton on stage. You see everybody that was assisting Alan still there, and then all of your potential support group that you guys have met throughout the night, everyone's still accounted for. Okay. Uh, that's Benson included. Benson included. Considering I'm holding a knife right now, I'm going to feel pretty good about turning around to face someone. Cool. cool you cool. don't scare me. I have sharp things. So I'm going to have you roll I'm me. like Jack Human. Kick some ah. ass. <sighs> All right. Because you're encountering the monster, my friend. Beautiful. Roll the so as you're, ass. as you're rolling, I, I I'll describe to you what you see before either of you act against each other. So you see a six-foot-tall marionette made out of just pure bone. Like, it's made out of pure bone, and it has gray skin stretched across its frame as if it was supposed to be a person but it was someone tried to make a person out of skin and bone god damn it benson Benson. its large arms are just so elongated that it's basically propping itself up i just wanted its body is smaller and it has incredibly razor sharp teeth and claws with piercing yellow eyes that just look at you hollowly and it has a bunch of strings leading off of it and it smells 50 times worse than that case did it's disgusting so i have the knife in my hand yeah yeah hypothetically how quickly do i have access to the shotgun that i guess is like in my <laughs> like maybe it's a sawed off shotgun instead of a left, left, instead of a right leg you just have a shotgun oh like, my ah! God. so I would say <laughs> retroactively we could either do it one or two ways you have it like a sawed off shotgun that's not like super big but it's like a pump action sort of like hand one that can either be like kind of clipped to your like buckle sort of like you have your own holster for it's kind of concealed by your clothing a bit or you have it inside you like your belt loop, like it's pulled or out yeah, from something like, like, like that, belt, like an improvised holster. Or you can have it sort of like on a, like a back sling or something, where you just and you're good to go. Also, whatever makes the most sense for your character. Have I been carrying the suitcase this whole time? You probably dropped it while you were trying to help out Alan. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so let's see. Uh, do I need to decide now which weapon I'm going to use? Is that going to affect my roll, or does no. that just determine how much damage I do? How much damage you do. Okay. So, like, for, for arguments purposes, we'll say he's not so close that you couldn't pull out the shotgun if that's what you'd like to do instead. Okay. Because you're essentially, you're both, you're going to roll kick some ass, and then depending on what you roll, 
you're either both going to hurt each other or you're going to suffer less harm. Either way, you're going to probably take some damage just because of how the nature of combat in Monster of the Week works. So you're both going to inflict damage on each other to some extent. Okay. There's a chance he could roll insanely well. And... Well, even if he rolls insanely well, he'll still take harm. Oh, yeah, so he can't, so he can't the, pick the enhanced to no the, harm the, at all. Sort of. Yeah. The enhancement is you'll suffer less harm, which is a minus one. So depending on what attack he uses and how much it does, it could negate all harm depending on what he comes at you with. Or you can force them where you want them. That's the two choices you get on a 10 plus. Or on a 11 or higher. 10 plus is you get the advantage. You can take a plus one forward or you can give a plus one to another hunter. So every attack you make after that, you get a plus one. Is, um... All right. That's a 12. You get a 12? That's a 13. Yo, Yo. all right. So on a 13, you get to not only get your advantage, but you get to pick an extra effect, suffer less harm, or force them where you want them. I got wrong strings (laughs) to hold. Yeah. So wait, do I pick one of these or one of these? Uh, the 12s. Yep, 12 plus. Okay. The advanced damage. First combat roll of the night. <laughs> that was solid. Double six, bitch. I would like to... See, I don't have any harm currently. So I think that I would like to inflict double harm... Go for it. With my shotgun. Hell yeah. So how much harm does your shotgun do? Three. Three. So that's six harm. Nice. Nice. So go ahead. Do you have an an action movie one-liner? Yeah. Describe this shotgun shot. It's a good puppet part. Oh my god. (laughs) Do you got one? I don't got no strings on me, but I do have this shotgun. <laughs> I'm pulling the strings here. Oh, God. Here's a gift. Your no lifeline is attached. mine, little puppet. Oh, noise, noise. So you blast this fool right in the chest, and as you blast him, he, like, staggers Ooh. back, and he tries to swing at you, and he swings at you with his claw attack, and it's going to deal two harm, but because you got a really good roll, it's going to do one harm to you. You get so, a wicked scar on your face. It's just going to graze your arm. It's not too, It's not even the one you shot with, so it's your non-dominant arm. Okay. And he gets knocked back across the scaffolding, and it does clear a path for you to run past him if you'd like. All right, as I'm lowering down Alan, I'm betting I hear the shot. Oh, absolutely. So as I'm lowering him down to Doug, I hear the shot. I'm like, I hand him off to Doug. Like, I look up to try and see what the hell's going on. Totally. Do I see any details where I see him fighting like a shadow? You can see William holding his shotgun, and you can see just this big, elongated, bony arm. That's all you see of the monster. It's back so like the scaffolding is blocking the view a little yeah. bit. Yeah, but you see this grotesque arm. You're like, what the fuck is that? And, like, as this monster gets shot, he's going to reel back surprised, and he's just going to bolt. He's going to bolt back towards the As main he's stage. doing that, I try and spot if I can see a shadow moving. You see a shadow moving, but it's the opposite direction. You're not able to get a glimpse of this thing yet. All right. I want to I see if I can aim my shotgun at the scaffolding. It is, it is running along and cause it to fall. You if I can blast a hole in the scaffolding, or, or perhaps... Um, unbalance it somewhat. Yeah, you can you can attack. I staff. also have a shotgun that I've been carrying around with me, totally real, just all this time. Like, oh yeah, this shotgun's been with me all this time. I'd like to imagine that instead of carrying the shotgun, just like this group of pigeons just fly it into you, like just six pigeons yes, with strings yes, yes. just fly a shotgun down. <laughs> and so I, so you're gonna I'm, roll kick some ass. Yep. <laughs> oh, to take a shot at that scaffolding. Whew. Come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. That is a five to kick hey, some ass. Hey, mark some experience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so 
on this one. I there's not really any harm. My that second I, experience of the night. I don't know. Maybe some wood chips get in my eye or something. No, I, I don't feel like hurting you in that. I don't want. I'm not gonna physically hurt you on this one. Oh. But what's gonna happen is when you take the shotgun blast, it freaks out everyone around you, including and, Doug. Including Doug. And like Xander is just gonna like fucking like grab you by like the shoulder and just pull you back and you be like, what the what the heck was that? You have a loaded weapon? Since when, Barnaby? I'm not the only one. What the heck? You can't just go discharging a weapon indoors like that. I have a permit. I, I don't care. You can't just fire <laughs> indoors. <laughs> This so is like, a red state. So like everybody starts like freaking out and like fucking Xander's like trying to get a hold of people. Like he's trying to like get a handle on the situation. That, All right, just calm down. It's okay. That monster has bolted to God knows where. What does William do seeing that that, th that monster is retreated? All right. Um, see, one of my spooky moves is uh, jinxing a target. Ooh. Ooh. Which gives me a whole set of whole effects. Can I roll that? Yeah, for sure. Right. Roll for hex. Exciting. This is a weird roll, so I have plus two weird. Hey, this should be good then. Ooh. On a 10 plus, I hold two. On a 7 to 9, I hold one. I haven't gotten to roll weird once, but I don't know if I can do weird at this point in my life. Weird is usually magic stuff or like paranormal stuff. Do I stuff. have any weird? Well, there might be stuff later on in your track as you experience. Cause like I feel like there should be for the for the flake. What are you at? With my bonus, I'm at a five. So uh, I do get to take experience, and that levels me up. Hey, that's hey. great. But you do hold two over me to be used in the same way. So I don't know if that means you you go by Wait, these let me see. hold effects. I probably do. So you can just randomly fuck me up one time. That might be what happens, yeah. I don't know if that back backfires now or if you get to Ooh, here we go. pick that out for later. So I either get to spend two to interfere with a hunter, giving them a minus one forward, help a hunter giving them a plus one forward by interfering with their enemy, interfere with what a monster minion or bystander is trying to do, inflict one harm on the target due to an accident, Target finds something you left for them, or the target loses something that you will soon find. That is interesting. I think I know which two I'm going to take. So I'm going to make a quick little note, and then I'm going to give you your sheet back. Okay. See if I can get away from Xander and make my way backstage where I saw William disappear. For to sure. Try to intercept. For sure. So here's what I'm gonna use on one of my holds for. So I have a interfere with a hunter minus one forward. So I'm gonna give you a minus one forward to acting under pressure. So anything involving other people, they are now weary of you because you discharged a loaded weapon indoors with seemingly no threat yet. Well, I'll pull out the threat and make sure they know I was... It shouldn't be something that'll last too long if you have sufficient evidence. Yeah, so I am still going to try and evade and make my way backstage For to... For sure. Because I know there's a stairwell back there that leads For upstairs. sure. So as you get back there, you see uh, Clarissa from earlier, the, uh, oh, the, assistant? the assistant, yeah. You see her, and she just starts walking towards you. Are you do you have your shotgun out right now? Are you, are you brandishing? I mean, I have it on like a string, and I throw it behind my back. Okay, so she I'm doesn't just trying to that. run, and I'm just trying to like uh, streamline myself so I can just run and get yeah, back yeah. there as quick as possible trying to intercept. So yeah, I'm like, 
Hi, uh, you're really good at your job. I need, I need you to move now. But what's going on? I heard a blast and I... I what's going on? Only the one blast. Two. I heard two. And... and as she says that, a bunch of strings just slowly like inch their way down. Where? Around Clarissa. Can I push her out of the way? Absolutely. Roll. Putting pre- myself in danger. That would be protect someone. That is not a negative one. That is a tough, but that's still a negative one. Oh no! It's a three. Oh, yikes. <laughs> oh no. Mark down that experience, though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mark down that experience. I pull her forward. Can you hear me for more time? So here's what happens. You go to reach her, and as you make a movement, one of the strings just wraps like insanely fast around her neck and just hoists her into the rafters, disappearing instantly. She's just gone. Fuck that. That was the room <laughs> the stairs. You're going up there? I'm like, not on my watch, goddammit. Were, no. were you still up there, William? Yeah, I think I'm still upstairs. So, as you go up there, you both meet up. Like, you both see each other. It took the personal assistant. Oh, no, the, you mean the... By the neck. Did you see it? The freaking weird marionette. All I saw was... Stri- it's a marionette. Thing. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a weird thing. <laughs> That's it's a good pretty thing. smelly, That's too. Crazy. It's not good. It can't have gotten far. It has a personal assistant, after all. It can't move very fast anymore. It now has baggage, just like all the rich people. Oh my god. Hey, you, uh, so, like, I shot at it. I did some pretty good damage, but... I did too, and now everyone's mad at me. I was gonna say, I heard, like, some other, like, blast, but, like, we it's can talk later. Missed, and we it need was to find really just before. a bad thing we all to... around. It was weird. We can talk later. We need to find this thing and stop it from killing it, from attempting to kill even more people. So that sounds like an investigate a mystery. It's still got to be upstairs somewhere, right? Unless there's an open hole in the roof. Because you can ask where it went, what can hurt it, what sort of creature it is, what can it do. That is eight. You got to roll the one. Would you like to roll that as well, William? Where? And I think I still have one left over from earlier. What is being concealed here? What can I see it hiding? I perhaps leftover strings. Let me think. It's trailing. And I rolled seven. So you each have a hold of one then. So Barnaby, on your hold, I will tell you I can't say specifically where the monster's concealing itself, because that's more of a where did it go. But far as what's being concealed here, I can tell you that it has a connection to Benson, undoubtedly. There's that chicken bone in there, and there was that open bucket of chicken inside the van. Come on, damn it. (laughs) William, what would you like to use your hold for? All right. Let's see, if I asked what sort of creature is it, would that provide any more specific information about like weaknesses or is well there that... is what can hurt it well there, yeah there oh, is what can hurt it right there yeah, yeah. all right uh, i'd like to ask what can hurt it then. all right well i would say no, you being a scholar being a man that has researched a lot of things for your for your plays you've noticed that <laughs> <laughs> you've researched the killer marionette phenomenon that plagued italy all during the Pino- writing of pinocchio oh my god so you know that it being made of bone means that it's going to be a little bit tougher to kill than if it were a regular marionette made out of wood. So you're going to find you're going to need something that can either dissolve bone or you'll need to figure out what is driving it and how to get rid of the energy driving it. Okay. So if I can use my other hole left over from earlier, where to go? You notice that there are strings everywhere, like hanging out from the rafters now, like hanging down, and piecing together the way it moves, 
you're sort of getting the sense that it can take the strings that are attached to its limbs, tie them onto these strings it has in place, and move whichever way those strings let it, and then detach. Okay. So, so it's essentially making its own nest here. So it is confined to the building. That I you would, know of. I would infer. Um... Because all of these strings are just like set up in the ceiling, either it did that on its own, but we know Benson brought it in earlier. So I think we need to talk to Benson to figure out what's going on. I don't like blood being on my hands. I would like to, to kill first, ask questions later. And as you guys are sort of figuring that out, Xander runs up, and he's noticeably out of breath. And he's just like, oh. Barnaby? We need, to, we need to get you on some cardio, Xander, because you're really behind. Barnaby? You have a shotgun. Why did you shoot a shotgun inside and then just run off? What, what is going on here? I will slowly to, to William, <laughs> who's also William, prisoner. William, buddy, pal, what, what's happening? It's crazy out here. Well, Benson's trying to leave, and all these people are like, what is going on? They're scared of Barnaby. Left. Well, no, I, I, I had, I, I had, a, I had the, I had the, the reporter girl hold him off for a little bit, but I had to figure out what was going on with you first. So, Xander, let me fill you in. What's going on? Um, so, I sort of forgot to tell you this, but uh, we're sort of Monster Hunter, like, investigators, I think. That's what? what we're, that's <laughs> what we're sort of turning we into. Are? Uh, that's what it seems like. Like we are now. So but, that's but, pretty cool. He, I think you had a few too many of those margaritas. There's no such thing as monsters. You remember the bone from earlier? Yeah, the it was bone, a chicken the bone. case. It was chicken smelled bone. really bad. Yeah, yeah. This is like made out of like chicken bones and stuff. It's like a big old marionette. That's oh. like what the fuck? all gray and stuff, and it smells just like. We're the pretty sure it's another one of Benson's failed experiments. So you, you want me to believe that a toy maker who, who sews together platypus heads on pandas made a giant monster marionette? Yeah, shot. Look, I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't put it past <laughs> Mr. House Arrest to attempt black magic to cure his ills. And as he says that, just this pile of bones falls <laughs> from the rafters behind him, and he just turns. He's just like, "What the fuck is that?" That's probably the personal assistant. He just he just turns and he just vomits just right on the like like stage left. He's like, what the? It, oh. It's it's all good. Do you want a a knife? Dude, no, I, I I gotta. Is there anything corrosive in the building? It, it's 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 town hall. No, no, there shouldn't be. And he like looks at his holster. And he's like, where's my gun? Oh. Oh, not again. I extend my arm, Damn and it. the lever pistol pops out. I'm like, I want this back. He takes it, and she, Barnaby, we, we gotta have a serious talk about where Later. you're getting all these weapons. Later, we are saving the city hall first. Okay, okay. What, 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 what's the first step? What do we do? How do we make sure no one else gets hurt? First of all, we gotta isolate it. Okay. So how do we keep it away from them? Or, or them away from it? I don't know. Act as bait and run around the rafters, hoping it'll chase after one of us. He like just walks up to you and he like kind of like leans and he's just like, well, "Listen here, Barney. <laughs> I I don't know if you've noticed, I ain't that good of a runner. So you're essentially asking me to go on a suicide mission. No, you've got a gun. But you you just said you shot it, and it's still around." But maybe you're like a security guard, so you get like a security guard buff to like your damage. I don't know how you <laughs> just talk metagame to it. Look, we're in a game. I'm pretty sure you know how this runs. Like, fuck it, man. God damn it. So I want, I want you boys to know that 20 minutes ago, I ate like six finger sandwiches. I'm not moving quickly no, you didn't. anywhere. No, you didn't. I point over the rafters. No, you didn't. I had <laughs> six finger sandwiches. Yes, you had them, and they're no longer in you, so therefore you are no longer weighted down by them. 
You are light as a feather. Well, damn. Like, I guess I can't argue that. <laughs> So so we're gonna hunt. We're just gonna run around until now, this thing tries to kill us. Somewhere up here, we're pretty sure. If you ask me personally, what you've got to do, I think we really should talk to Benson because he can tell us what it is. Do you think he might know how to stop this thing? He better. Oh my god, fucking Benson! <laughs> fucking Benson! <sighs> All right, I guess we're gonna. Just forget about the person assistant who I'm pretty sure might just be right. That, there, I, I, that's her clothes. That yeah, is her she, clothes yeah, right she's there. Dead. She's she's gone. Like Pity. she was cute. Like there's a there's a solid thirty percent of bones missing from this corpse right here. Corpse? They like said it was bones. It's a corpse. You know what I mean? This corpse is a, has organs. This is a it's dead so body. This is a dead body with very few remainder. Bare bones scraps here. No pun intended. What the All right, fuck, fine. guys? Let's what bolster the your fuck? let's bolster your personal enthusiasm by going to talk to the man who is ninety five percent probably responsible. <laughs> I'm reserving the five percent just in case Mr. Rich Bitch also financed this because there's also a good chance he did. So you guys are gonna head over to the main hall. You again. spent, according to the bank rates, you spent forty four thousand dollars on puppet investments. Fuck. So you go over to the main hall and you see uh, uh, Benson. Yeah, Vanessa is being held back by Lillian. Lillian. Moss. Lillian. Yeah, she's she's just she's like shit is going down right now. I get that I have my code of I'm not gonna pester people, but I was told to not let this man leave. And by I'm the going security. to sneak up behind Benson. And I'm gonna activate my lever so that it feels like something's poking into his back. Oh god. But I'm just going to use it to intimidate, like, Benson, we need to talk. He looks back and he sees you and it's just like, oh, what you wanna talk about, Barnaby? What's up, pal? And I assume by this point the other two have come around. For sure. Xander, take that leadership role you've always wanted. Earn that middle management position. He pulls his gun immediately. It's just like, all right. That's my gun, actually. He pulls your gun immediately. <laughs> all right. You're you're gonna tell me. Oh shit. Why there's a there's a there's a there's a bone puppet here? Why is there a bone puppet here? <laughs> why is there a bone puppet here? And Benson just immediately. I I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I don't know. Stop, please, uh, don't hurt me, please. Benson. I saw you carry it in. It's not mine, I swear. I saw it eat your chicken. You left the chicken bucket inside the band room. I don't have any chicken. I'm a vegetarian. It's not me. I know you don't, but you still fed it chicken. It's, I didn't feed it. I didn't know what we're talking about. <sighs> don't hurt me. So listen. Benson. Benson. Go ahead. We saw you carry in the case earlier. We found the case that smelled just like the gray, spooky, bone marionette it's that not I my case. thought. I saw you carry it's it in. It's not mine, though. I, I saw you. I brought it in for someone. Stop lying. I brought it Who's in for someone. It? Whose is it? It's his case. And he points right at the unconscious Alan. He gave me... Four hundred dollars to bring this in here. Wow, damn, no questions cheap. asked. Like it, is, it is Oklahoma, so four hundred dollars can buy a lot. He told me if I just brought it in, he'd pay me, and I could use that money to pay my rent. Cause I, I, I can't. I, I'm failing here. He just starts crying, and he's just like, I, I can't, I can't make ends meet. The toy business isn't working. My wife's gonna leave me. She's already taken Charlotte. I, I'm not a killer. Honest, so, I'm not a killer. Benson, you're the guy who makes fucked up stupid toys. Like I know, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> what is being stupid a crime? Like, yeah, like if if you make like a bone <laughs> puppet that kills people, <laughs> I didn't make it. I didn't do it. All right. How do we figure out if he's do I stab Alan until he answers our questions? I don't know. Yeah, you can manipulate someone. All right. We you gotta ask him something. Going to roll. So, what? 
I have pigeon crap on me. Oh my god. I'm gonna use that as smelling salts on Alan. Oh my god. You're gonna try to wake him up with pigeon crap. Yes. Uh, act under pressure. Act under pressure. You got a bone puppet running around, you got this man having a mental breakdown, and he's bleeding out. That's pressure. Raw roll. That's a ten. You set out to do what you do. So you oh, effectively oh, oh, wake oh. him up with pigeon crap. He's like, <coughs> what the? Ew. Alan. What? What? The naughty elf upstairs would like to have a word, and I would like to have a word about that naughty elf upstairs. What the fuck are you talking about? Who are you? <laughs> I pull up, I, I motion for Xander to bring Dalton. <laughs> Dalton? <laughs> Benson? Benson. <laughs> Xander just shoves Benson forward and just kind of stumbles, and he's just like, tell, tell him the truth. Tell him what tell him what you told me to do. And Alan's just like, I've never seen this man in my life. Bullshit. I've literally never I'm from Bullshit. I'm from out of town. I'm from Chicago. I've never seen that man in my life. Bullshit. I don't know who the fuck that is. He's not even wearing a name tag. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him. He's not wearing a name tag. Benson's know. just like fuck. Shit. <laughs> oh god, he's right. I forgot my name tag. So Alan, do you remember what happened to you? How did you end up oh. dangling from a wire? I was going to the bathroom to check on my brother. Upstairs. And as I was coming out of the bathroom, someone just rushed me and hit me over the head. Next thing I know, I'm being suspended from the goddamn ceiling. Now, if I had something to do with something running around hurting people, why would the first thing I do is make it hurt me? I would like to investigate a mystery. Go for it. I would like to see if he's telling. I would like to see what is being concealed here. Absolutely. Because I'm sensing it's not this crap which smells like shit, but something <laughs> else smells like shit to me. It's a six. Two Normal. plus. That's a ten. Hey, let's go. Hold two. What is being concealed? What is being concealed first? You notice that Alan is not being entirely truthful with you. No! He's being semi-truthful with you. Wait, did we did we ever tell Alan that people were being abducted by this thing? Did he just pull that out of his ass? No one told him anything. We didn't mention it was being abducted. I just asked you about the evil elf upstairs. And he implied that to mean that people were being abducted by something or someone. What Williams? That does that's what an evil elf would do. Yeah. They take people. Right? Or kill people? What else would an evil elf do? Make shitty toys. <laughs> <laughs> All of those things are intrinsically linked. <laughs> it's just Krampus. It's just Krampus, but in Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> you got one more hole. <sighs> you definitely feel as if Alan is holding on to more information about what's going on than what he's letting on. If I poke his exposed ribs with my lever that has no pistol in it, will it possibly make him be a bit more truthful? Potentially, depends on what question you ask here next. It seems as if he should, it seems as if he has a framework in his head of whatever you're asking about, he has some idea of what it should and shouldn't be doing. Or at least he thinks he does. You seem like a smart man, Mr. Attorney. What can hurt it, Poke? Hurt what? The elf? I don't know. Not believing in it? Isn't that what always hurts Christmas things? Poke. Ah, ah! Fuck, stop! Don't do that! I am an, I, I'm an innocent bystander. I don't have anything to do with that. You are innocent until proven guilty. 
Look at, do you see this rib bone right here? Yes, it is very interesting. Oh, ah! Listen, I'm, I'm the professional actor, and I, <laughs> I know bad acting when I see it. You know something you're not telling us. I'm pretty sure this pain is genuine, though. Poke. Ah, fuck. Stop. Uh, William, I'll have you roll to manipulate someone. My dice! Seven. Seven. So they'll do it, but only if you do something to show you mean it. So he will tell you the truth, but you have to, like, you gotta do something to prove that, like, you're, you're, you're pressing him. You gotta force him to tell you the truth. You gotta be serious here. This knife, this knife was given to me by <laughs> Nick Jackelson. How'd you like to be poked with this? Huh? No, no, okay, okay, okay. Just please, please stop poking. <laughs> I was poking, poking and be like, I'm gonna stab you, okay? You know, fucking tell me what you want, Clem. Just don't, no more sharp He's things. He's infused by the soul of Nick Jackelson. Did you see the sinning? He was crazy in that movie. The sinning? Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. What, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? What can hurt it? I don't know. I really don't. Listen, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what I know about it, but I don't know what its weaknesses are. I didn't, this isn't my idea. We'll, 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 we'll put a pin in that for later. We'll see about that. Go on. This, this has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to talk. Enough with the filler, on with the pie filling. My brother did it. He knows. He told me about this. He told me he found this thing. He told me to give that dumb hick over there $400 to bring it in. And I did. There is a lot. Man, I thought the public was going to have a lot of strings attached. Jesus Christ. I don't know anything about where this fucker came from. I don't know what he's weak to. All I know was that it wasn't supposed to hurt me. It was supposed to take out the other investors and we were going to get our money. All right. That's what my brother said. All right, I'm going to point to Xander and say, okay, I need you to hold on to, to Benson. Gotcha. You and I, we need to talk to, to Lillian. Lillian? Because Lillian. she was calling someone Ooh, very particular. You're right, she was. I want, I want to like also note that in this line of questioning, Richard is nowhere to be seen. Oh, I, I guessed that. <laughs> For sure. That's why I'm going to the next best thing. Valid. The last person I know who was in contact with Richard. So Xander's just gonna be like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna hold Benson. But what I also think we need to do is I think we need to lock this place down. If we have suspects here, we need to make sure they're not leaving. I thought your first prerogative would be to get rid of the food. Get rid of the food? Listen, man, I, I'm hungry. I don't like food. But th this, this, is, this, is a, this is a mystery here. Did you see dangerous. the bones? What about the bones? What's that have to do with food? That was the personal assistant. Yeah. Wait. If we lock this place down, we have you sell a, we have a buffet for an elf. Are you saying these people were food for that thing? Did you see the bones that fell from the ceiling? But what? So what do we do then? Like, because is if we've clearly seen anything. How about you call for backup? slowly egg people out while we try and focus, try and isolate it away from the people. I like that idea, but it seems like this is really complicated, and I don't want to get rid of anyone if, like, it seems like we, well, no, it was Benson. Protective it was. custody. Release them in protective custody for holding for later. Right. That's something you security folks can do. Okay. Can we just, like, move everyone into the kitchen where they'll be out of the reach of the... the yeah, the, 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 the kitchen have rafters. Kitchen does not have rafters. All right, move them all into the kitchen. There's one way in, one way out. All right, move them all into the kitchen. We block off that central area. All right. We guard that... All Plus, right. we still got to find Xander. Richard, too. Xander. Yeah. I need you to move everyone into the kitchen. All right. Because there's only one way in there. Yeah, yeah. And then we can block that area up in the... One of us in the rafters, one of us in the main floor, and one with maybe on the stairway guard and then right. it's gonna come for there because it's bound to be hungry okay and then when it comes we can just take take it out and then if we need to we can feed Alan to it if it gets extra hungry oh okay and Alan's just like wait what 
Why I mean, me? Look, look, free rib meat. Hey, man, I'm injured. I just told you I had nothing to do with this except for the small part I had to do with this. Pull up duct tape. <laughs> and I'm going to pull your side. So talk to me on real quick. Ms. Voss! Yeah, yeah, so he gets, so Xander gets everybody in the kitchen. Lillian is the only one that, that he leaves out. And she's just like, yeah, uh, what, 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 what? I'd rather just be with everybody else where it's safe. You're not an attorney, cool. right? Y no, no. Good. Privilege doesn't exist with you. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> you made a call recently. I make a lot of calls. I'm, you made a, I'm call, a journalist. You made a call to Mr. Thomas. Rich. Just, bef just before his brother was suspended above the, above the aisles. Uh, we need to know what that content of that call was because there is currently a killer on the loose and you may know some details because you talked to the person who was in charge of this fiasco. I mean, it, it wasn't a bad call. It wasn't anything Lillian. special. I was just, you know. Lillian Lots are hanging in the balance. She, he was just telling me about the stuff he had on Holton. He thought it was a good story. He said he had evidence. He said he had pictures. And me, I, I, I just want to report the facts. So I was like, all right. So he asked if we could meet up. And he wanted to do it off-site. And I told him I'd do it after the event. Where off site? He wanted to meet down by the pier, but I don't think he went to the pier yet. That's still a couple hours away. You also still have the evidence somewhere, too, supposedly. This is true. Where do you think you dropped the case? Uh, I think I left it uh, back in the closet where the, uh, the band mm. instruments were. Ooh. Sand, right? You might need that. You get an evil dead flashback saying, <laughs> Where are the keys? Oh, shit, they're downstairs. Oh, Lord. Well, see, so we plan to go in a hunting match. I, alright, I tell him that, I tell Lily, I'm calling her Lindsay for some reason. You're good. Lillian, okay, you're gonna go into the kitchen. You'll okay. be 80% safe in there. Alright, 80 is a big number, I like 80. Yeah. So you guys have guns too, so that's. Yes, we're going to be out here. Well, yeah, but, you know, they're one way in. Theoretically, it'll probably kill you guys before me, so... I'll at least have time to run. <laughs> Think it strategically. Yeah, uh, if you need anything else, I'll, uh... Get in the kitchen. Get in the kitchen. She, she just leaves. She just, she just books it. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Gotta make our way to the, uh... Okay, does Xander have any backup? Xander has no backup. Xander, like, it's went to dial out. It's just us with one ally. He went to was... dial out, and he got nothing. Like, reception seems to be cut. God damn it. Quick, give, 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 give Alan a knife and put him up on, like, one of those dollies. He'll oh, make use of Oh, gosh. <laughs> I don't think Alan's gonna, gonna help. Uh, Alright. So Alan? gonna... Alan, what, we're going to post you in front of the kitchen here. We're going to what? What? And we are going to go into the band room and going to go find the briefcase that proves that your brother has stuff on Mr. Can I, can I crawl into the kitchen? I mean, you can if you give enough effort. All right, cool, because I, I don't want to just be here. I can't really move that well. That thing will rip right through me. Good luck, bro. Good luck, brother. Slap, Good. slap. And then I... Then I then what? Me, Xander, and William make our way towards the music room. Fuck. All right, so... As you guys head over there, the door that Xander had shut behind him and uh, William is open now. And there's, you can see like a faint light spilling out. Not like they got the lights back on, but like someone has his own light and he's rummaging around trying to find things. You hear like shuffling coming from inside. So I assume you guys are sneaking on in? Yeah. I get plus two harm when I'm sneaky. <laughs> oh, God. So you go to sneak in, and as you're walking in, you see, like, you see Richard rifling through, like, all of the cases, trying to find the one that is his briefcase, he's trying to find his briefcase. Because he can't, he has no clue where he's looking. He's just looking anywhere. And he's he not looking in the closet. He's not looking in the closet, no. He's looking for the briefcase. For the briefcase. The briefcase. Stole. That we yeah. stole. We are 
perfectly lawful good in this scenario, I Definitely. assure you, as I poke the ribs of an exposed victim. <laughs> oh, you mean he pulled a knife on someone? <laughs> <laughs> is it fair to say that I know where it is? Oh, for sure. Definitely. You just have to go get it. What uh, do you guys do choose I... to do with Richard in the room, though? Is he closer to I have... it, or if, can I just go straight to it and pick it up? You could, but you... Roll act under pressure, actually. I, I have a roll of duct tape that I can throw against a wall away from the closet as a distraction. Well, the room itself isn't that big. And he's already not facing the closet. He's like, like let's say it's like a room of like this size and the closet is like that blue pillar right there. Richard's probably like around this table area, like looking off that way. So like you could sneak past him, but there's a good chance that if you don't get into that closet and hide in that closet, he will see you on the exit unless you wait him out. Not to mention you've got three people with you that need to either stealth in or like get away from the exit before Richard leaves, whenever that might be. Do we throw in the sand there to distract Richard? Xander does have authority in this situation. He does have, he has authority. So depending on what you want Xander to do here, he might be able to get you guys out of this one. Yours friend. Can we get this security guard to detain him, Xander? You probably could, yeah. Is that a role situation? Yeah, Xander would yeah, probably have to roll Yeah, that Richard that. needs to get into the kitchen now. You'd either have to, yeah, you know, I'm good. Let's, is that the right you guys want to take? You want to have Xander do that? Yes. Yeah. All right, so Xander's going to roll the Richard, manipulate. Yeah, Xander, look. I help us, vic I help us soon be victim if you don't get them into the kitchen right now. Oh, damn, you're right. You can, you, you can, yeah. you, Miss Voss could report you as a hero of the nation if you get him in there. Oh, you will uh, save the last, the last survivor. Oh. So, like, you guys are, like, on the outside and, like, Xander just pumping, heads just on pumping it. Pumping like buffs into him, like, come on. Come on. <laughs> Absolutely. He's just like, hey, hey, you, you. And then, like, Richard turns around and is like, Richard, what, what, what? You gotta come with me. There's there's something on the loose here. You're in danger. Just, it's all right. I, I'm just looking for my, uh, my my cello. I'm looking for my cello. I'm part of the band. Don't don't mind me. And it's just like, that's all well and good, but I think you need to come with me. Oh, damn. Oh, damn? Oh, damn. Okay. I don't know if that's a good or bad oh damn. That's a but good I, damn. I, okay. That's a good damn. We're all almost maxed out both dice. You get a 10. Can I also just mention, my dude just claimed to be part of the band, but he's wearing a name tag that says he's an attorney. That's true. <laughs> he just got caught in a lie. Oh, I'm going to... Xander will remember this. On the manipulate, I'm also going to have Xander read a bad situation <laughs> so he picks up on that lie. Absolutely does not. Oh. If he had a sheet, he'd be marking experience right now. Oh. He's just gonna be like, he's gonna level up sooner or later. He's just like, all right, all right, here, here, listen. I know it's important that you find your instrument. I know you musicians are and stuff, but your life is on the line, and it's my duty to protect it. So you're coming with me. No ifs, ands, or buts. And like Richard starts to look like noticeably fucking like just like ah oh, shit. Like, he just, like, grabs him by the arm, like, it escorts him out past you guys, but you guys are, like, off to the side so yeah. he doesn't see you at all. So as soon as they leave, we're going to get in there. And like, all right, good case, my friend. He called me friend. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys go to get the case. I'm going to act defensively. Yeah? What are you doing? I'm going to crouch by the cases. I'm going to keep an eye up on the ceiling, just in case. The ceiling and or the other lockers. Gotcha, gotcha. I, because I grew up watching horror movies. I know that something bad's about to happen. Nice. Even if it's just a cat coming out to, to make us lose a, a life of ours. So you're keeping an eye on the cases. Are you going for that closet to get to retrieve the briefcase? Yeah, I'm going to retrieve the briefcase for sure. Cool, cool. So... Barnaby, you're covering him while he does that. And then, as that happens, I'm going to say, Barnaby, you hear a light kind of scuttling sound. Can't pinpoint where it's coming from. It's in the room somewhere. Would you like to read a bad situation or investigate a mystery? Both are sharp. 
Yeah, yeah. So I'd say, whatever helps you get the most info you want on this, I'd go for. There's no question that asks, where is it going? Just ask, what is it going to do? That in investigation. that to where I could say, where is it going? Yeah, where did it go or where is it going? You could also do a what's being concealed here or what was it going All to investigative do. mystery, hoping to. That is a 10. A, hold so, two. Uh, where did, where it, did, 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 is it going? Where is it going? The sound is getting closer. It's coming towards you. So, so you're safe. Is I'm there safe. is there a locker behind me for some reason? There's nothing behind you, but the racks of clothes are blocking off your sight at the other side of the room. So there's at least that to deal with. I was gonna try and like, if I'm backed into a corner with only one point of access for me, I then mean, it has to come to me, and then. All I have to do is point forward and shoot. Right, right. If it gets to me. So, is there anything like that I can spot? Like perhaps a single corner, isolated, maybe a little levee in that it has to maneuver into like my lateral view. I would say there's probably like a little like crevice between lockers to the east side of the room. Or if you just went there, the only path toward you would be a straight shot. You'd have to see it. Like it would either be like right here, right here, or right there. But nothing can sneak up from above you or behind you. I'm going to make my way towards that crevice, if at all possible. Absolutely. And as you do, the scuttling gets louder and quicker. Alright, and to sweeten the deal, I'm going to kick something over to make my position even more apparent. Go Perhaps for even it. alerting him yeah, yeah. while he's noticing. So, what do you kick over in the room? A music stand into another nice. music stand. Nice, nice. And as you do that, you see a weird looking kind of bone spider just crawling towards you very quickly. That's what's hiding behind the music stand. Yeah, 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 it's coming from underneath. It's really small. Like you it, if you had to like picture what it would look like or like the size, it would probably it looks like it might be Xander someone's has my gun. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, Xander does have your gun. This straight up looks like it would be just a spider made out of the bones in someone's hand. And it's just inching, it's, it's not inching its way towards you, it's like making a beeline for you. So, I would say, roll to kick some ass, if you'd like to defend yourself. Still got my shotgun on my string behind my back, so... Come on, big money! Oh no! That's one. That's a six. Five. Oof. Mark some experience. Mark some experience. <laughs> so I'm going to say. I failed. I get experience. This bone spider is just going to like just run up to you and do like a Mexican jumping spider move and just latch on your face like a face hugger. And you're going to take two harm from that. Oh no. It's going to like have like it's bony like like it's going to have like little spurs in the bones that just kind of like latch into your face. <sighs> Did and you, you hear this one harm earlier? Yeah. Three now. Ooh. The one, the one harm you took earlier is definitely healed. Okay. That was the slap. Oh, man, those up. finger sandwiches were really good. <laughs> so, you hear all of this going on in there. Like you can hear him like fumbling with this. You hear the music stands falling over and stuff. Right. But you do retrieve the case though. Nothing has touched it. Nothing has harmed it. Like it's exactly where you left it. No one has seen it since you. I am. Yes, brother. <laughs> I stand up, showing off my, my new Hellraiser cosplay. Oh my god. Right. I need you to case me! <laughs> so, to get... I want you to clip this thing! <laughs> to remove the spider, normally that would be just like a grab it, and that's an act under pressure roll, yes, right? Yes, yes. But... I also have some magic ability as a spooky. Hey, what you got? If I did a inflict one harm, would that get the spider off? 
Possibly. You could definitely try it. Is it like a magical attack? It just says inflict harm, inflict harm, one harm, ignore armor magic, obvious. Cool, cool. So you would be rolling weird to do that? Yes. Also, I also have another effect. I don't know which is better. Banish a spirit or curse? Is this thing like a spirit spider? Like, could I, I like, kill it? It feels fairly real. Well, here's the thing. But it might be like enchanted. It, it might I was be like a say, demon spider. It's similar to that thing I said to you earlier about you either need to like destroy the bones or destroy the energy source behind them. Something's powering this thing. It might be of the uh, ethereal nature. That's still to be determined. You'd have to speak with Richard to get the true nature of what this is. So I would say you could either try to harm it and see if it lets go. You know go, what? Let's or go banish. talk to Richard. Let's just take this with my face. Oh my god. Richard. I will say the longer you leave that on, the more likely it is it's going to deal more harm to you. Joy. Okay. What do you think I should do, my brother? I'm just going to say I'm going to try and inflict harm upon this spider. So are you rolling use magic, or is that just a specific ability you're doing? Um, it's just a use ma it's a roll plus weird. Okay. Uh, right. seven to nine works imperfectly. I choose the effect and a glitch from this, uh, list. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is use magic. Okay. Ten plus it works Ten without issue. Ten plus works, no issue. Yeah. Ten pl or twelve plus keeper will offer you an added benefit. Alright. So, and I do have a plus two to my weird stat. Hey. So, let's see. That's a nine plus two, eleven. A noise. Wait a minute. So magic works without Wait issue. Wait do I also have magic? Uh, depends on what your moves are. You can roll a use magic. I have crazy as you use me plus one weird. So that's the only thing I have that mentions magic. You might not, but there are options in the game to like come across certain magic. All right, making sure that I haven't been neglecting this at all. Oh yeah, no, you're good. It depends on like what archetype you play a lot of the times. Uh, yeah, I also don't know because I don't have any specific like magic ability that like depends on or like points to the use magic. Oh, for sure. Thing, but spooky is like the character class I am. It so seemed like you had weird. at least that ability. That I at least have based. some sort of innate like. There's an attunement tendency to it, yeah. towards magic. For sure. So on that. Like, it, like I said, it works without issue. You So that's the one to deal the harm, right? Mm -hmm. So upon, like, so describe, like, what you do. Like, what's this look like? All right. Um, I would say to that I run towards him and I go for the spider, but instead of just, like, trying to hit it or, like, tear it off, yeah. I sort of, like, um like grab on to the energy of the spider yeah, yeah. and can feel some sort of like uh, sort of like I'm breaking down like the ethereal totally part of it to weaken it enough to like you know yeah it's sort of like an empathetic touch kind yeah of, or like you're using your energy more like you're like fit like your spiritual energy more than your physical energy to try to get this off right Cool, cool. And maybe so, I like fling it against the wall or something. Yeah, no, I totally. Can. Like when you inflict that harm, it lets go instantly. You just fling it against the wall. So like the initial grab does one harm to it, and then the wall fling deals another harm to it, and it just passes out on the ground. Nice. It's just not moving at all. Your wounds from the face hugging bone hand aren't very bad. So I would say, given a little time and no more like prolonged injury you can probably heal too long goody we now know there's more than one bony problem in the building what do you guys choose to do now you've got richard detained with xander now and then you have the evidence in the case now supposedly did we see mr troy get buckled into the kitchen you didn't see him get buckled in all right, let's head to the kitchen. I'll just bleed all over the floor just to despite the dramatic building. effect. Yeah. So you guys get to the kitchen, and you see everyone's there except Holt and Troy. He is not in the kitchen. We'll get to him later. What do you 
choose to do now that you're here in the kitchen? We definitely want to talk to um, Richard Thomas. We Absolutely. want to confront him about the contents of the briefcase. But I'd like to ask... We have this receipt for $400 you recently purchased. Oh, my God. On Craigslist. Bad oh, choice. Right. There's no security on Craigslist. Not at all. Do we want to pull him aside by himself? Do we want to talk to him and his brother? Do we want to just, like, open up the, the contents of the briefcase to everybody? Or do we want to keep it discreet? Yeah, honestly, it just depends on like how much or how little you want to damage Richard's reputation here. Because I mean, everybody's probably fairly aware they're in danger now. He's an out of towner. We don't care about his reputation. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care much for townies in these parts. Oh my gosh. So what you gotta say for yourself, city boy? I assume you guys are just opening up the line of questioning in front of everybody right now. Oh, yeah. All right, what's your first question for Richard? He looks like noticeably like uncomfortable and like his brother and him just aren't making eye contact I sh- at I sh- all. I shake the briefcase. Richard, found your yeah. papers. Oh, oh, uh, thank you. Especially this, this black piece of mail you were going to use on someone. Buddy, please. Black mail. <laughs> we don't need to talk about that. That's not important. It, it, we could just throw that away, and he like kind of like walks over to try to grab it from you. I slap his hand. No. Uh, First of all, you're gonna tell us about about the evil bony elf that's up there creating a little evil spider elf that did this to me. And he looks at your face, and he's just like, oh, 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 oh no. Oh yes. Oh, yikes. Uh, yeah, Benson. Personal. Benson and your brother ratted you out already, so. What do you mean, ratted me out? The thing in the briefcase. What, You're the, the one the who photos? told him to brought it in. No, no, the thing in the in the bigger in the big case. case. Not, not the briefcase, the other case. Too many cases. <laughs> it's like deal or no deal. <laughs> Just one case Too contains murder. <laughs> Sweet, stringy murder. Richard's just like, I don't know what you're talking. I just brought the blackmail case. That's all I brought. That's all I know about. The problem with that is that Alan and Brigsby... Benson. Benson. (laughs) The problem with that is Alan and Benson have already claimed you gave $400 to Benson to bring that case in here. I just... I gave him $400 because he looks poor. People do that. Do they, though? Do they really? Look at Richard. him. He looks like he hasn't eaten in like six months. Pretty sure you should have Benson is kind of a fat boy. No, Benson's like really scraggly. Oh, okay. Benson's just like, hey. I assume everyone here is terribly out of shape, so. No, Alan was, was in the best shape. But the out-of-towners are pretty feral. Uh... No, I, I don't know what we're talking about. I, I gave him money, but not I don't, I don't know why he's bringing that I case. I to Alan, who's possibly crawled in here by now. He's just like, he's lying. He's lying to you. He's lying to you all. It's <coughs> a piece of shit. <laughs> Richard's just like, why are you being so spiteful? We're in this together, man. Richard, the big, bony, gray marionette thing. And the bony spider that smells terrible. (laughs) You know what I'm talking about. What is it? Did you make it? Did you find it? I'm a lawyer. Why would I make that? How would I make that? Lawyers can have hobbies. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. That's not a hobby. It's not a hobby. It was an accident. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, my God. (laughs) I, I have nothing to do with some weird bony puppet. I'm not the toy maker. I'm so mad there's not an insight check on this fucking game. <laughs> the closest is... Investigate. Or read. Yeah, honestly. Investigate a mystery or even manipulate, I would say. 
You have to frame what you want to do with manipulate specifically to like either getting someone to tell you the truth or catching someone in a lie. Look, wait. Mm. But you can have a private conversation with my father. For sure. Xander kind of walks so over. So what do we got, guys? Can we use the blackmail as leverage to get him to tell us about the marionette? Does he want... He doesn't want people to know that he was blackmailing Mr. Troy. But I already mentioned this black piece of mail in front of everybody. They don't know what it is yet. That's true. But he was pretty shaken the fact but that But there's going to be a deep investigative journalism piece about this a few years down the line that will blow this whole case open for everyone to know. Provided everyone survives. It's true. <laughs> Provided the truth the doesn't die tonight. The population, too, that is left over. I remember that, and that was terrible. <laughs> yeah. All right, Richard, you tell us what we need to know about the marionette, or everyone in this room finds out what you had in your briefcase. Simple as that. We, we don't we don't gotta bring everybody into this. We can, we we talk like men. It's that's why we just that's us. why that's why we want you to tell us everything. I did. Then, Richard. I I heard the argument you had with Troy or earlier in oh, the that kitchen. Was, You're Troy. blackmailing him. No, no, Troy, he's just being he's he's me and Troy actually went to college together. He's uh he's he's just being he's just being Troy. You know what they say Troy's will be Troy's, right? right? You want to open up the briefcase? No, 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 don't, 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 please. I click open one side of it. No, don't, please, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, what do you, what do you... It was an accident, okay? It was an accident. I didn't mean to make that. I don't know how the fuck it happened. You were using the deep, dark blood magic you found on the internet, didn't you? I wanted... Okay, so... I asked my sister if she knew. There's more siblings getting involved in this, really? She's not here. That, it was a phone call I had. I'm like, do you know anything about just good fortune or good luck? I was really nervous and I wanted to do something to increase my, you know, my, 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 my juju, you know, my karma. And she pointed me in a couple of directions and I looked at a couple of things online and I was just trying to bring a force into this reality that would be a good force of good luck. I didn't know it was gonna turn into a monstrous freaking, freaking bone thing. I didn't know that was gonna happen. But what, when, it, when it came to life, it did what I said. It listened to me. Yeah, I got hungry for flesh and bones, but it listened to me, it didn't attack me. And it wasn't supposed to attack Alan. Do you know what's scared or weak to besides corrosives? I think it's possessed. I think it's a spirit. I don't know why it's so angry or why it's so hungry. But I think it's a spirit. The bones actually came from my backyard. It was it, They were old pet bones. They were old pet bones. I don't know why they all came to life. I don't know why they made that thing. Why'd you bring it here? It wasn't supposed to... It wasn't supposed to kill. It was just supposed to injure the competition. I figured if I was the last one standing, I'd be the one, you know? That's not suspicious at Win all. by technicality. <laughs> I thought if a few people got hurt, everybody else would leave. I didn't know that it was going to kill that girl. I didn't know. I didn't know it was going to attack my brother. I didn't know. We even mentioned to kill, kill a girl. I saw her body backstage. I was looking for the briefcase. That gives you even more incentive to take it down. I can't fight that thing. Once it starts feeding, it doesn't listen to me. It won't kill me. But I can't get it to do anything until it's not hungry anymore. It's just, it, 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 this was not my intention is what he's trying to, this is not my intention. I didn't mean to make this thing, but once I had it, I thought I'd roll with it. All right, hold that thought, Richard. Yeah, okay. And I open it up to every person in the kitchen. Does anyone else in here have any weapons of any kind? 
This is an open carry state, I know. Please tell me that one of you. Uh. Like, there's gotta be an off duty deputy or something. No one in here has any weapons. But. Someone does come forward. Lillian comes back forward to you guys, and she's just like. I don't know where Holton went, but he's a big game hunter. He might have something on him. See, the problem is we have to go hunting for him in a place where we currently have a creature and he would kill us. Well, that's the thing. If he's a big game hunter, you're going to hear him before you find him. There's a reason he's not here with us. <laughs> I don't need saving. I'll save myself. <laughs> We hunt the deadliest monster known to man. I was Bowling. imagining the bit from Tremors, where like they just go into the basement where all the guns are. Like, oh shit! <laughs> oh, just break over the wall. Like, ah, oh, sweet, get the elephant gun, quick, quick! All Take right, down. All right, so, all right, we're gonna use our listening skills and we're gonna use our perception checks to find Mr. Rich Bitch. And his amazing sweet gun collection that he probably smuggled into City Hall for some reason. So, he can, doesn't leave home without it, probably. Can we ask the room if anyone has any clue if they saw where he went? Holton? Yeah. Yeah, from we, we from asked, the stage. Last we saw him, he was on stage. Yeah, we ask if anyone perhaps saw him out of the corner of their eye maneuvering towards a particular direction. Maybe he went outside, maybe he Dennis went... Dennis comes up, actually. And he's Dennis, like, my I, man! I did see Holton head toward the uh, the green room. I don't know why he That's was backstage. going. That's backstage. It is backstage. It is backstage. So, we're going even deeper in the stove top if we go backstage to find Mr. Big Game Hunter. However, if we take it stealthily, we could hear him and his demise, and then walk and in. His and his demise. And then eventually sneak in, take his weapons from his cold, from his from his w recently warm, but still very pliable hands, and use those to our advantage. Possibly. Let's go try and find him. All right. Xander, do you feel brave? I mean, no, not particularly, but I want to help. I really do. You almost made that Eagle Scout medal. I remember. Plus, I mean, I, I still have your gun, so I'm not unarmed. This is true. Yeah, I, I think I can do it. All right. Let's See, go... So you guys head backstage, and as you head backstage, you you don't even have to look for him. You see him immediately. You see Holt and Troy. He's got like a cowboy hat and like a bandolier. It's like, Woo! So here's the thing. Holton's not holding any type of gun. He is brandishing a seven-foot sword. It's just a giant broadsword. <laughs> yeah! How about you? <laughs> and he's just like, oh, I see you boys are little late to the party and you hear like the bones scuttling in the rafters it's just like you're a big game hunter who hunts with swords i don't hunt animals i hunt oh, monsters oh, oh. the biggest game known to man <laughs> monsters <laughs> ah, ah yes dinosaurs the greatest names of all. <laughs> I gotta send you guys that series. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, so. Alright, roll for initiative. <laughs> oh, Lord. So, here's what we're gonna do. Who would like to try to sense out where this monster is? That would be I think the I have the screen. best perception ability of all. Is this regular perception or is this, is this weird magic? Yeah, I'm sharp, is the thing. I'm super sharp. Do I have any magic? I'd say if you want to, you could probably do either. You could investigate with Sharp to figure out where it's going, or you could try to use Weird to just like do a flat Weird roll. One of the magic effects him is him. to he observe can. another place or time. Could that mean like another trying... place, but like a, like a security camera? You can just yeah, you know, like you, you you basically have a phantom security. Can I camera. put yeah. feelers out? For you'd sure. Have, you'd, have five, you'd, you'd be totally five nights at Friday's just like, quick, yeah. check, check the cameras. Okay, I'm going to put out some mystical weird feelers. Noise. What you got, sir? It's five plus seven. Noise. Seven. So imperfect. Not bad. 
So, so tell me what I can figure out. So your effect is you want to be able to sense where it's going, right? Mm -hmm. So of the glitches we can have for that, there are the effect is weakened, the effect is of short duration, you take one harm, ignore armor, the magic draws immediate unwelcome attention, or it has a problematic side effect. Well, you choose. I'm going to choose that it has a short duration. So you can see bits and pieces of it moving, but you're having a hard time figuring out which direction it's going because they're just coming in as like snippets. Okay. But you can tell that he's probably directly above you somewhere in the vicinity, like probably a good I do have a five shotgun which has a, which has a wide blast radius, so. You do. So with that knowledge. Does my shotgun have a choke? Do you, up to you, would it have a choke? Because I know a choke uh, like focuses the fire. If I pull back that choke, it has a wider blast radius. I would say Barnaby would be the type to have the choke, yeah. Where you'd have the wide radius. All right, yeah, so, yeah, it's basically like it tapers the, the muzzle. Okay. But if I untaper the muzzle, then it's like, oh, well now it's just a blunderbuss. It just can yeah, go yeah. anywhere. So I'm, I'd say you're good either way, yeah. All right, so. Do you want to try to roll a blast on it? Yeah, I'm just gonna stand right in the center, point up, pull back, pull back the choke, like release it, and just yeah, kick some ass. Up. Joy. That is a six. Marks of experience. Hooray! Hey, I leveled up. Hey, get nice. a new effect for you. Oh boy, I'm about to die. <laughs> So, no, I, I'd say on this one, too, it's just another Charm. stray blast cool. you missed. God damn it, there's no tough upgrade fucker. There might be something that lets you roll something you else instead of tough. Let's see how it fits together. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. All right, that one seems like it could be helpful. Nice. So, on the shotgun blast, it's going to, like, just blast the hole in the scaffolding, but it, and it's not going to hit the monster, but he's going to, like, peek out from but will that it make hole. It more, but will it make the upper area more visible? Yes, because it's turning it into Swiss cheese. He's even peeking out so he can look at you guys in the eyes. And you notice William, this time, seeing him, he looks bigger than he was before. He looks like he got... He, he's absorbing some of what he's eaten. Do I take damage? No. You're good. You didn't take any damage. My leveled up canceled out all the bad effects. <laughs> so he's going to just straight up like put his giant prolonged like arms around the scaffolding. And he's just going to like kind of just like drop himself down. And he's going to just like snarl at you. And Halton's just like, all right, boys, let's go. We got a monster. We got all right. A now, I have an ability called Connect the Dots now. Nice, where I can nice. search for patterns, and I can determine when and where the next critical event will occur. That's good. That is good. And since I am such a shark boy, that is probably a good idea. Go ahead, roll for it. So I'm going to try and use my pattern force. I like, let me see. Noise. Let me check my pigeon shit compass real quick. Oh my god. That is a seven. So what's it say on a Hold seven? Hold one. When and where. Is the critic next critical event going to occur? I get hold one, so that's my right. hold I'm gonna take. I right now, be able to. I want to be able to like foresee like okay, I can see its movements, where it's going. Like, does it have like? I'm looking at this like a video game boss. Does it have like a specific like movement? Like it's it's buffering to do something. Like, all right. So I'm gonna tell you on the on your hold one, connecting the dots. You can tell that this monster. Is trying to use magic but not just like the specific use magic that all hunters can do he's trying to do big magic so on your sheet what big magic is is it similar to like regular magic but it requires more it requires either preparation time multiple parties it requires something more than just casting a spell but if he gets all of the pieces for what he's trying to do it's a huge effect All right, I look to the mage in the group and say, William, I think it's going to attempt to use a big spell. Okay. 
You it's definitely. probably going to use use a lot of effort, and it's probably going to fail a lot, but then it's going to find something that works for it. Here's the thing. He's been practicing with stuff already. Mm -hmm. And part of your sensory like cameras you've been placing, you noticed as he was moving, you were more focused on the movements he was making and not what was around him. You know how he's been putting up all of these strings and stuff? Well, you notice that it's very similar to a spider web in the sense that not only is there a big like kind of like you know branching pattern connected in there but there are these little cocoons up there too there's at least six of them okay those are probably going to hatch into the spiders we saw earlier is what i that's that's my best guess and as you guys are deciphering that Xander is just gonna like run to the front of the group with his little gun that he's got. <laughs> he's, he's just little, like, little... you're gonna stop hurting my friends right now! Xander, don't be a fool. Oof. Mm. Mm. So he's gonna take like a couple pot shots at the monster, and they're not connecting super well, but he does inflict harm. He, he seems to anger the monster more than anything, and he's gonna like just take his big prolonged arm and just swipe right at Xander and he's just gonna catch a big bony claw right in the head unless uh, somebody wants to protect him. Barnaby's a good person, so. <laughs> You're gonna protect him? Aw. What do you got? That's a four. Oh, no. I just push him into the cloud. Here you go, buddy. Oh, no. So on that, I'm going to say first mark experience. Hooray! And then you're going to go to try to get him out of harm's way. And inadvertently, you're both in harm's way. So you're both going to catch this bony, like, forearm swipe. And you're both going to take one harm on that. Mm. Hey. Holton's going to just, like, step up. And he's going to be like, guys, guys. If you want to deal real damage, you gotta go right for the head. And he's gonna, like, go in with his sword. Man. He's gonna go to, like, swipe with his sword. He would also be marking experience right now. Right. And he's gonna, like, block it with one Here's arm. Here's how I do, boy! And then he's gonna take his other arm, and it's gonna jam right through Holton's left arm, piercing it. Holton's gonna take two harm on that. Dad, come in. And as he has his arm pierced, the monster is actually going to use one of his special moves. It's called debone. And on a high enough tough roll, he can actually remove multiple bones from a body without puncturing the skin or like ripping the skin away. He just can suck it right out. Jesus Christ. Now, can I try and jinx that? Yeah, for sure. How does your jinx work again? Um, let's see, on a 7 to 9 I get one hold, on a 10 plus I get two holds. One of those is interfere with a monster, what it's trying to do. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so that's 8 plus 2. 10, Ten. nice. Ten. So I would like to interfere with the monster. Uh, I would also like to inflict one harm. Yeah, for sure. So how do you interfere with him as he's going for his debone? Um... Is it, it's reaching out to do the debone, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So he's, so essentially how it works is he's already got his arm in him and he's already inflicted the harm of puncturing his arm. Now he's going to start absorbing bone marrow. Okay. So he's already there. I would, I'm going to focus back. I'm oh, going to remember be a real to boy. when. I'm going to think back to the moment where I saved Barnaby from the spider earlier. Yeah, and yeah. I'm going to try and put all of my spirit into a kick right into the bony arm that's trying to suck up the bone. Hell yeah. And you nail it. Like, you hit him with that kick and just they just completely break contact. Like, Holton staggers back with his sword in one like, hand and his arm like just hanging at the other like side. And he's like, well, shit, that's broken. <laughs> That's fine. I only need one hand to swing this sword. All right. While it's going on, I'm going to, since I'm still over with Xander, I'm going to have a brainstorm. Yeah, yeah. What's I'm gonna up? I'm going to tell Xander, Xander, I saw this in a movie once. Aim for the limbs. 
blends. Bring it all, yeah. Bring it down to where it's just a torso. Okay. No, without legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Cool. Yeah. Like Alan was. Like Alan is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. Just, just, just aim for the limbs. Okay. I'm, 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 I think they might be a weak point. Okay. He just proved it. Sorry. Can we see at this point uh, how many limbs it has? Is it, yeah. Is it like spidery now? How many does it's it It's not spidery yet. He still has the two big prolonged like arms. He's just a lot bigger in size. Okay. And he's got like dinky little baby legs <laughs> just dangling. So just just the four limbs. He's just got the, yeah, just the four so far. Well, the sheriff wasn't like, I'm now a beetle. Or it's like, it's like, oh, shit. So... Xander is actually going to like try to shoot again, but this time he's gonna get a plus one from your encouragement. Oh, he needed it. Oh, oh, he needed it. Did he, so did he earn it? He earned it. Yeah, he's okay. got he's got harm on both sides coming. So he's gonna go ahead and shoot at this monster's right limb, and he's gonna actually hit something really important in the joint. He's gonna like fall down, and as he falls down. He's going to, like, hiss, and he opens out his mouth, and two, like, bony fangs just jut out of his mouth, and they just graze Xander, and he's going to okay. take one Okay, he doesn't impale him. Good. No, no. He, he like, you tried to Xander. Dodge. Go, oh, goddammit. Who else would like to take an action next? There's, there's I, not, like, a real order. Like, you can I, do whatever. I am going to reinforce the choke on my shotgun and take aim at its left leg. Nice, nice. Wait, is it is it? Did you say it was bouncing on its on its big arms, or was yep. it using its big legs? The two big arms. All right, I'm gonna aim at the left big arm. So he's kind of like down, yeah, slumped I'm gonna aim to the at side. This one that's still pouring in. Yeah, yeah. Aim closer and shoot. Go for it. So roll me some kick ass. Big money. I really should get rid of that crazy eyes and trade it out for like see what all fits together because God, the weird is giving me nothing right now. <laughs> oh. Big money. That is a seven. Nice. So harm is going to be inflicted on both sides. How about I burn my hand on the muzzle because I'm reinforcing the choke? You could do that for sure. Yeah, that's a so You'll take one ow, harm on that. Ow, shit. And then the monster is going to take another two harm. Oh boy, I'm unstable now. All right, unstable is not good. I know. Well, we'll get there. We got this. So he's down on both limbs now. He, he's not standing. Okay. And I would like someone to roll either read a bad situa situation or act under pressure. Um, let's see. The best I can do would be a plus one. Because I have plus one I sharp. Have, uh, I have plus two to sharp, so I can... You should roll it. The bad down. situation. Ooh, Ooh! That's yeah. crit! Get two, 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 two sixes? Yeah. Oh, so you got a 14? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So that's a whole three. Christ. So... I guess the first thing that's probably most important to me, are there any dangers we haven't noticed yet? Those cocoons up there... They're starting to hatch? Aren't cocoons. There aren't spiders in them. You hear muffled screams in them. Who did we miss? So here's the thing. There were a ton of like people here for the investing, you know, aspect, but there were a ton of people on the wait staff. It was incredibly oh, hard to keep track of. We forgot all. about the help. We forgot about the help. And frankly, Xander did too. He's just like, oh, cool. So we got we got Miss Reporter Girl right here. You you come over here, and we got the we got the we got the chef with the weird French Italian thing. Yeah, you get in here, and he's just like, oh god, how many people were in the kitchen? Is that a before? danger to us, or is it just that itself is not a danger to you? But it's something that we didn't notice before. It's something you didn't notice that All has right. an aspect of danger. What's most vulnerable to me? The head of this monster. All right. And what's the best way to protect any more potential victims in this area? Ripping open those cocoons. So I'm actually going to point to Holton and say, Holton, see those things? No. 
he can't see the cocoons. Only he can see them. And I guess you know about them now. Yeah, but he relates to the eye. They see the faint outlines. I'm like, ah, shit. Yeah, yeah. All right. But no one can see them from this angle. They'd have to go up there. What if I toss my shotgun to William so he can dual wield while I run upstairs with my throwing knives and try and cut them down? You could do that. Do you want to dual wield? Hell yeah. All right, I'm going to like, William, I got some I got some good Boy Scout points to earn. Here. <laughs> Rip and tear. So you're going to need to act under pressure to get up there because he's blocking mm, the stairway. I'm cool. You got this. What'd you get? I rolled two crits in a row, technically. Oh, no. Oh, yikes. All right, so Mark experience. <laughs> oh, shit. So, on a crit and miss, I'm going to give you a price to pay. You guys still going? Yeah, still going. Still going. They're <laughs> fighting the monster right now. We're still fighting. Nice. Dave is here now, too. Who's here? Dave. Oh, really? He's cleaning, I guess, carpet. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, Dave. He does do that. He does. He's learning. Mm -hmm. so, Here's the price you have to pay. What do I have to pay? You go to run for the stairs to try to get up to help the victims, and you're not quick enough to stop this bone marionette from jutting out his, like, lopsided arm and catching you in the knee. Ouch. And you're going to take one harm on that. I am not looking good. <laughs> how, much, how much harm are you at right now? I... How much you've left? Two. So you're gonna wanna be extra careful. Um William. Yes. You can sense that this monster is going for the debone move now. On uh, me. On you. Oh mm. no. But you are dual wielding. You I, are dual wielding. And he let's see, his front limbs are his front limbs are down. Are down. But one of them, since it's lopsided, is in Barnaby's leg now. So what you have the option of doing is you can either act under pressure with a specific movement if you'd like, you can roll help out, or you can even roll protect someone here. I don't think my field goal, my drill, my being the professional field goal kicker or any, or any more realized now. No, no, I don't think you're so, gonna kick field goals. This isn't my. Do I have a before he was? In danger, my instinct was to do two shotguns to the head, kick some ass, roll. Yeah, yeah. So I, did I mention aim for the head? I don't think you did. No, but I am going to, as I feel it piercing me, I look behind, I'll see you pointing up, I'm going to scream at you, aim for the head, aim for the head! You're going to kick some ass? I'm going to point two shotguns directly into its face. All right. Roll, kick some ass with a plus two. Hell yeah. Is that okay? That Six is... plus two plus one. That's nine. That's nine. 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 Nice. So harm will be inflicted on both sides. So here's what's going to happen. You shoot him right in the head, and he, like, falls back. Like, he's just motionless. And as that happens, one of the, the, the limb that was stuck in your knee just breaks off. It so it's still stuck in my knee. It's still stuck in your <laughs> knee, oh, but he can't debone you now, which is good. <laughs> you were, you removed the proboscis from this mosquito. It's it now is exactly. Yeah, no, they're fighting the bone marionette. Oh, yeah. I was telling Bruno I'm recording it. I'm recording it so that way everyone in the woodland group can hear what happened. It's evil cannibal <laughs> Pinocchio. Basically. Okay. It's made out of dead bones and questionable flesh. And it has a fun little move called the bone. And it ate a personal assistant earlier. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Took her bones and her flesh. Are you like the game master? I am. Okay. He's in charge. <laughs> it's fun. So, this thing is no longer moving. It seems as if you've defeated it. Hey, will you do me a favor? Double tap. <laughs> double tap. You're gonna double tap. Do I have the option? Am Absolutely. I allowed to double tap? You can, you can roll. You won't have a plus. Yep, yeah, you'll have a plus one on this one still. That's a Five, eight, six, seven, seven. Eight. 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 All right. I have a plus one top. Yeah. Nice. 
So you shoot it again in the head, and it doesn't move. It seems as if it's completely defeated. All right, I'm going to hobble my way upstairs and slowly start cutting down the cocoons. Good. Or cutting them open if there's like a precipice that they can. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They can step I'm right gonna, on yeah. out. If I, if I don't have to break all their bones, having them hit the ground at like Mach two, that would I will have them exit on like this little landing. I hope, I hope I'm on. Yeah, yeah. No, they're safe. So they come out. They crawl out. They're incredibly scared. They're like, what the hell was that thing that grabbed me? Oh my god, where am I? It's okay. The men I in think black I will... saw Jesus. The men in black will be here in five minutes. You <laughs> won't remember any of this. Just get downstairs, get to the kitchen. There's cupcakes. There's some of Dennis's insane French Italian macaroni. <laughs> the treats will probably be there. They're called macarons. It's, it's macaroni. It's... <laughs> William. As you're over here, looking at this corpse marionette, you see something weird with the strings. The strings start to wrap around the marionette, and they start to puppeteer it. It's as if the strings themselves are alive. And Do I see any of this as I'm, like, ushering them out? You see the strings above moving, but you're not sure why they're moving. Don't like that one, but... Holton's gonna, like, walk over to, like, this monster. He's gonna just start swinging viciously at it, trying to just decapitate as much of it as possible. But for some odd reason, these strings are still keeping it going. He's just gonna look at you guys, and he's just gonna be like, We need to destroy this thing. Utterly and entirely, strings included, because I don't, know, I don't know what's keeping this thing to this world. I've never seen any game like this before, but whatever it is, it's still here. <sighs> and Xander's just like, "What are you talking about? It's 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 not even moving. It's it's safe." And like as he goes to like say that. Two strings just jut into his arm and pierce his flesh, and he just like screams, like, "Oh, ah, ah, ah! I can't feel my arm. It's just gone. It's still there, but I can't feel my arm." And he takes two arm. He is now unstable. I'm going to start ushering the wait staff downstairs while I try and scope out situation from up here. And you see that the strings are making this monster move. It seems as if it doesn't And I also have. see the strings that are jutting into... Yeah, you see them Xander. jutting into Xander, too. All right, can I see any of them right in front of me? Like, I assume they're coming from, like, somewhere in front of me. They're coming like, they're, from... There's got to be a, a pathway. It, it doesn't even... Like, the path looks like it just leads to the cocoons that you were, like, cutting free. You have no... Like, there's no source that this is leading to. It's just the strings themselves so are alive with something. Yeah. Will you allow me a cigarette lighter? Absolutely. But it might take a while to burn if you don't have something to accelerate the fire. And I don't take it these strings will be too happy about you slowly burning them. Holton's gonna like walk Actually, up. the wait staff. What about the weights? Wait, what about I'm the weight staff? I'm going to pull aside a weight staff like, Hey, you, uh, get a flask? No, we're not allowed to drink. Are you? There's a bunch of alcohol in the kitchen, though. I need you to run down there, grab me some of your finest scotch, some gin, and some brandy, and bring it back here as quick as possible. Also bring some napkins. All right. So they go to run, and as they do, all the strings just jut out and wrap around them, preventing the waitstaff's escape. They're not hurting her yet, Fuck. but they're acting against you all. Holton's just like, we don't have time to leave and come back. We need to, I think we need to torch this place. You got any whiskey or gasoline, old man? If we get to something that'll go boom and we shoot it, that's all we need. All right. I'm going to assess a bad situation and yeah. try and see if there's anything that fits that description in, this, sure. green, in this green room slash backstage area. Reading a bad situation would be a great idea right now. That's a 10. Nice. Hold three. What would you like to ask? Best way to protect the victims 
and biggest threat to this thing? The biggest threat to this thing would be anything with enough electrical power to short and go boom. Is Is there a box that may contain fuses Absolutely. that stage? Something to control all of the lights, all of the sound. You notice because you also know too, as a theater man in the theater, there's a bunch of switchboards and circuitry for everything related to like the music and like the actual on stage stuff. There's a lot of technology. They they told me to stop messing with that stuff. Yeah. At the middle school. Exactly. Yeah, Take that a light up quite nice. They're doing you a favor, letting you sleep in the pit. <laughs> you gotta right. you gotta keep quiet. But can I spot Christ. it from where I am? You can spot probably a couple of the panels, not all of them, but if you went over to But not a main at, fuse box. You'd have to go look. My my point of contention is probably blocked because the weight step is heading down the pathway and I'm currently trapped at the top of the precipice with them being trapped by the strings down the stairwell. You could probably yell down to someone if they have, like, something that, I don't know, a long-ranged thing that can maybe hit the boxes from where you're at. All right. Well, I was initially going to Tarzan on the strings to a fuse box if I could. However, since I don't see one... You could try to Tarzan your way in the general direction. That would be act under pressure. All right, I'm just going to shout down to old man Holton that find a fuse box, find a generator, find something, and jam these things into it. And he hears you Sooner rather than later. later. He starts, like, charging towards, like, the, uh, the offstage, like, you know, electrical equipment, and he yells back to you, William. He's like, hey, cover me. Don't let any of these strings stop me. And as, like, he says that, like five strings just like jut out towards him and they're essentially it's Holton the strings and then you you got a clear shot they're not on you so you could either roll kick some ass or you could roll help out or act under pressure there's a ton of stuff here okay depending on what you'd like Can I to assist do with my throwing knives in any way you could try to sever some of these strings i was gonna say i have my knife as well would that be that would be more effective against the strings than a shotgun, right? More than likely, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna kick some ass then. Yeah, go That's for it. All right. You wanna get, kick some ass and you wanna do help out? Yeah. Cool, cool. What you got, guys? Seven. Noise. Uh, so you will inflict harm on the string. That is a seven help out. Grants them plus one to your roll, but also exposes me to trouble or danger. I draw yes, attention with my thrown with my thrown knives. So you're both going to do something similar with very similar effects. So essentially, you're both going to take out these strings heading for Holton. And as that happens, the strings that are nearest to you, which is a lot because you're near the cocoon strings, start trying to like wrap around you. You're not taking any harm, and you can try to like act under pressure to escape them, but they're setting their sights on you. And then the strings that were closest to you that you severed are going to like reel back and like back off of Holton and they're going to attack you. And one of them is going to like jut towards you and it's going to just pierce into your upper shoulder and you're going to take one harm. Okay. Where, in it, where is he positioned compared to me? So I would say if we're going off of like mapping wise, you're up here. Or you can see some of the fuses and stuff, and you can see everything going on down below. Yeah, but where can I? Where is he in relation to me? In relation to you, he's directly underneath, and probably like five feet to the right of you. And then Holton is a good ten feet away from him, heading towards the boxes. So it's like you, William, and then Holton over here. All right. I'm going to Peter Pan. I'm, I'm, can I Peter Pan off the precipice and try and sever the, the cord that is trying to get into him? Yeah, for sure. Oh, act under pressure. Act under pressure. That is an eight. All right, so hard choice, worst outcome, or price to pay. So the hard choice I'm going to give you is you can either... 
try to Peter Pan your way over and stop those strings and definitely protect him from further harm. Or you have the choice of staying up here and finding another route down and keeping potential harm off yourself from these strings that have congregated near you. I'm gonna hell with myself. I'm gonna try and save him. So describe the motion you're taking to get well, down. I just want to point out you have a lot more harm on you than I do. I know that too. Also, I have not yet attempted to communicate with it. Which you know, is... I haven't used a luck point yet. That too. You can also use luck points. I don't know if I mentioned this at the start, but you can use it to reduce harm down to zero too. Okay. So if you do want to go in and rush in and try to help, and if the harm does impend, you can reduce it to zero with a luck point. So I can't retroactively say I roll a twelve on the act under pressure. We could do that too. Yeah, I'll just use the luck point uh, rule of cool the act under pressure. All right. So. You either get to do this with absolute perfection, things go exactly the way you want, or you can take an extra effect. Extra effect. What would you like your extra effect to be? Extra effect? Yeah, yeah. So essentially, that just means you do what you want to do, and then you can add something on top of that too. So it won't be on your sheet. I mean, there's effects on magic, so... No, essentially for, for extra effects with act under pressure, it's basically... You get to do exactly what you wanted. Like you get to protect William. But what else would you like to do to either screw over I this want, monster? I want to stall. You want to stall? I want to stall. So are you saying you'd like to stop it from hurting William and then also hold it in place, essentially? Yeah, perhaps like under my foot. Or perhaps I like may pull it around like a support beam or something. For sure. Yeah, I want to like may pull it. Go like, for just, it. Just get it to tie itself in a knot. And then it's like... I want to catch you. It's like, oh, you're just she was two inches short, sir. I'm sorry. There you, you go. Yeah, yeah. No, that works exactly as you described it. So the strings are off of you now, William. What would you like to do now? The Holton's charging the box, and you don't have any more, like, dangerous threads around you. Um, let's see. The wait staff. Yeah, yeah. They're still trapped. There's still a couple on the scaffolding, and then the one that got down and tried to run for help, that they're pinned. Okay. You've also got Xander in the corner who is in unstable visit condition too. Okay. Which is why he hasn't been taking very many moves in this recent initiative with the strings. Right. He's kind of just like off to the side. You notice he's bleeding a decent amount and he's just like trying to keep his blood in him. Okay. He is unstable, so I would like to try and use magic to heal one harm. Yeah. For sure. Eight, ten? Yeah. Works without issue. Sweet. So he's going to heal one harm and that will stabilize him. So essentially. The energy you put towards him helps him like kind of like recover a little bit. So it, it gives his body the extra boost of energy he needs to kind of like sort of self carterize some of the wounds he's got. So he's not bleeding anymore. He's still having a hard time like standing and like he's lost a lot of blood so he's a little shaky. So he's a little uncertain if he wants to act against this monster considering he's shaky and he's got a gun so... But he's in no more immediate danger. Okay. And then I'm going to say, after all of that's happening, Holton reaches the box, and he sees just like this field of just electrical equipment everywhere. It's everything he hoped would be here and more. He sees like a little like a mini backup generator. He sees the fuse box. And he's just like, he's there, and he's looking at it. And he pulls out a pistol, and he just starts popping rounds and everything everything and anything hoping that like he'll get like an electrical spark and as that's happening you see the bone puppet his piercing yellow eyes that had been black start to be yellow again and he starts to get up and he starts to crawl towards holton 
and he's starting to pick up do speed. I see the bone puppet. You do. You both see it. And Xander's just like, guys, guys. Can I call to William to toss me Matilda? The Is gun. That, yeah. Absolutely. Need to power that a minute. So you're going to have to act under pressure to toss this. Oh, don't worry about acting under pressure. Yeah, yeah, act under pressure. Okay. To huck this shotgun to your buddy, Barnaby. Okay. Oh, and the nice thing is when I leveled up, I used that to give, my, give myself a cool buff, so I'm at zero instead of minus one. Hey. All right, that's going to be seven. All right. So, the worst outcome I'm going to give you on this one is the shotgun flies through the air towards Barnaby, and the strings just snatch it out of thin air. And it's pointed at you, Barnaby. Can I toss a throwing knife to maybe lopside its aim? Absolutely. All right. Act under pressure. Act under pressure? Act under pressure. That's cool. All right, there's an eight. So, here's the hard choice I'm going to give you. This is your last throwing knife. Mm-hmm. Do you choose to chuck it and protect yourself? Or do you keep it so you still have something to arm you with? Toss it. Because Toss it. if it hits me, I will be out. You're right, you're completely. right. Completely. So that knife flies through the air truly, and it strikes the strings right as it goes to shoot, and then you actually see the round just whiz past your head like... It was such a close call. You're like, I definitely needed to throw that knife. Oh my god. And he actually drops the gun too. And it's probably going to land two feet away from Xander. I also have my, my other gun. Yeah. Xander's just like, did, Barnaby, did you need this? Should, should I get it? He crawls towards it. And he grabs it. He's like, all right, all right, what do I do? What do I do? I run it to you? Should I throw it? Just, like, like across the floor. It's like... Mm. He's still on the ground, and you're still on the scaffolding, though. I thought I came down and Oh, you Pan. did, you did. Yeah, yeah sorry. Pan, right? Sorry. So I, I may pulled it around the pole. Where did you land in proximity to him? I'd say about 10, 12 feet away from 10, 12, him. All right, so he's going to go ahead, and he's going to slide that sucker yeah, to so, you. Yeah, slide. slide. That's where I was looking for. I was like, roll? No, it's not roll. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> And as that roll goes over, you just hear all these pot shots in the background, and then you just hear a loud boom, and he finally, like, makes that fire. All right. And shit is just going up in flames. Now, is, is Onokio still heading for Holton? He is still heading for him, definitely. All right. I am going to hobble myself toward him. Now, how fast is he going compared to my speed? Um... How wounded are you right now? Because like you've got five, that five out of seven. So I'm gonna say you're probably not moving more than like a couple of feet every couple seconds. And like this thing is going from like a small crawl to like almost like a crawling sprint. Like he's picking up speed with like his lopsided, like shredded bone meat arms okay. as he drags himself off of sheer spite alone. One thing I haven't had the opportunity to try it that I really want to do what is else? see if I can use magic to communicate somehow with the puppet. Yeah, yeah. Like, at least maybe I can distract it and buy you some more time. Mm -hmm. Go for it. That's a good roll. Let's see. Seven, two, nine. Nine. Nice. What does it say on the uh, thing? Effect and a glitch. So communicate with something I don't share a language with. So I'm going to communicate, but then you get to pick a glitch. So I'm going to say the glitch is weakened. So he doesn't understand exact phrases or things you might say, but he'll understand intent. So you have to be very emotional to convey what you're trying to say because he won't get the true words behind it. Okay. So what do you say to this monster? Hey, Ultron. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah. 
what uh what's the deal huh what why are you so mad uh we we can we can work this out uh why what what problem you got with barnaby huh he's a good dude he just like grunts and wheezes and he's just in a very deep voice the first time like you that you thought he could even speak he's just like i crave bones has he slowed down he did stop for a minute. He turned toward Willie All to right. say that. I am using my Matilda as a crutch to eat to move me oh along even God. faster. And hopefully, as soon as I get within distance, I'm going to just spend a luck point and just choke aim directly for the string. Yeah. I'm trying to aim like a perfect shot through the strings, through the neck, just completely sever every connection. So that's going to be a plus 12 on kick some ass. So you're gonna get a plus one forward, so or you can give a plus forward, plus one forward to another hunter. So plus one forward to him, just in case he needs it. And you also get to choose to force them where you want them or suffer less harm. On because when you when you attack, yeah. huh? Them or me? You. So you'll get to either force this puppet where you want it, or you'll take one less harm on the attack back. What's more important for you right now? Probably less harm because I was hoping to just coup de gras. So, you sever the strings and it cuts his movement in half. But he's still alive. He needs to be killed utterly and completely, strings and all. They have to be destroyed. So he's still kicking. And he goes to launch one of his bone teeth at you. And it just completely misses. It was like a plus one harm move, and it got negated down to zero. Whew. And as this is going on, Holton's just going to be like, all right, we either need to lure it closer to the fire, or we need to make the flames bigger. But the problem we got right now is we need to, if we're going to light this sucker up, we have to get people out too. Let's see. We have, does the puppet have like, because the ropes got severed, is there, does it have like inactive tendrils that we could like grab and force, like pull it towards the fire? Absolutely, yeah, there's still strands connected to him, so if you guys wanted to get close in and pull him to the fire, you totally could. Okay. I also I, say I, I'm com I'm more comfortable making physical contact to it because I have less harm on me. Absolutely. But that might not be the best idea for Barnaby. Holton can probably, if you ask him, he can probably help. He's got less harm on him as well. He's 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 only two out of six right now. He'll be okay. Okay. Unless something awful happens, but he seems pretty confident right now. So is that the plan you convey to him? Hell yeah. All right. You saying I got to grab this by the strings and just pull this sucker in? Well, goddamn, let's do it. So he, like, runs up and, like, the, the, this, this bone puppet tries to launch more of his teeth at Halton. And he's going to... He, he's going to, like, launch just, like, two, like, spiky teeth. And he's going to, like actually move in his bro his busted arm to take the hit for him and then he's gonna like push himself forward and just grab onto the strings and just start pulling him in nice and he's gonna be like he's gonna take one harm on that he's gonna he's gonna yell down to you william you in position you got him hell yeah brother so you're both gonna roll act under pressure to pull this fool in Well, what I think I'm going to use a luck point. Oh, God. What did you get? I got four. Oh, no. Just burning through these things. Holton got an eight. So the hard choice I'm going to give him is he's definitely going to get this thing pulled into the fire, no doubt. But there's not a guarantee he's going to get out of the fire in time. So that's his hard choice he's going to have to make. And with you, though, you get to do this to either absolute perfection or you get to take an extra effect. So you're going to pull him into the fire, 
there's no question. Do you want to do that utterly and safely knowing you're completely fine or would you like an extra effect? And if so, what effect would you like? What are my options for effects? Anything you can think of. Um, I would like to uh, ensure that Holton gets out. That's a great extra effect. I love it. So you get him pulled in successfully, and you see these strings start to burn. And as they start to burn, this puppet just lets out a bone-chilling scream. And he's just like, he's like screwed. He's like, oh god, I never thought that connecting all of my strings might be a bad idea until they went up in flame. And Holton, as he's like pulling to get this puppet in, with his one good arm, he's like literally, he's just like one big pull, and then he like wrenches his teeth onto the string, pulls one good pull, and he just keeps repeating. He's like, I'm taking this thing down. And as he does it, one of the strings hits him in the leg, and it deals one harm to him, and he just collapses, and he's like, fuck. And as he does that, you're like right there to grab him. If you want to just grab him and pull him out. Oh, yeah. So he, like, reaches out for your hand, and he takes it, and you guys just get the heck out of there as this puppet just keeps screaming on fire. This is our Batman Forever moment <laughs> when Robin as <laughs> reaches I'm just down. vomiting blood and <laughs> up because I'm currently almost dying. Hey, same with Xander. <laughs> the almost dying club. So as he's screaming... Xander, you want to hunt monsters? No. Not anymore. As he's screaming and all these strings are going up, the wait staff is finally like free to clear and like the strings are off of them and the and the lady who got like completely entangled, her strings are starting to like catch fire, but she's able to pull herself out. Good. And Good. Xander even helps too. He helps like untangle her and he's just like, Alright, alright, everybody the clippers and starts tweezing away. Oh my god. His crappy multi tool. He's like, I got this. <laughs> it's like everybody, single file. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here right now, right through get that the door. Get out of here, man! Come and, like, on, get out. People just start booking it. And as that's going on, you guys pass by the kitchen, and you see Alan just bleeding profusely. He's like, Hey, uh, no rush. Uh, nothing, nothing to, uh, I don't want to, don't want to stress you out or nothing, but, uh, how's things going? Can I, can I leave? I'm kind of dying. I've lost a lot of blood and I'm getting kind of cold. I'm bleeding from the nose and mouth, like, <laughs> can, can we leave? Is it all right that we leave? Are we going to stay in this kitchen? I grab him by the, by the leg, by the heel and pull him along the oh side of the God. building. <laughs> and then, uh, and then, uh, that's when, uh. Lillian's just gonna be like, so I, uh, I'm gonna take that, we can leave too. And then, like, fuck out of here, fuck out of here. Yes, Andrew's like, move, get out of here, you stupid. And she's like, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then, like, everyone just leaves. Like, they're just like, they follow out as Town Hall just goes up in complete flames. And, like, the whole time, Richard's just out there standing, looking incredibly, like, dejected. He's like, as, I didn't want this. As. As we exit, I'm gonna stop and just continue pulling Alan out. Just whoosh, <laughs> throw him into like a bush, <laughs> and I'm just gonna stop, pull out a cigarette, put it between my mask lips, and just lean back into the tunnel. Oh my god! Holton's just gonna be like, "Well, damn, that was kind of cool." <laughs> <laughs> I wish I'd thought to do that. So as you guys, so there's a doctor. As you guys watch City Hall go up in flames, you see in a window the glowing eyes of the puppet, and they just dude fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they go from just being bright, angry yellow to just going completely black. It's like you see its face just melt away and just collapses <laughs> in the flames. Fuck down. You just sit the fuck down. Like, you sit face. down. And you stay down. <laughs> And I think that is the end of your guys' first monster hunt. Oh, yeah. Way to we go, guys. We screwed up a lot. I don't.
don't think you screwed up a lot. You guys handled I'm that. I'm dying. Really? Okay. Well, other than the harm, you'll be okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Show up next time, looking like the pirate captain from Family Guy with like every limb replaced by a peg leg. Oh my god. No, if if Alan is surviving and doing all right, you're surviving and doing all right. You got this. Uh, oh, you guys did amazing. Now let let's uh, let's do a little end of session wrap up. Did we conclude the current mystery? Absolutely. You guys found out the who. You found out the what, the where, the why. You've gotten pretty much all of the angles you needed. The only thing left is like justice for Richard. Justice like, for Richard. You know, bringing him to justice, not like Rip oh, Richard yeah. Garza. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Richard, we avenged you. What? You guys absolutely saved multiple people from certain death. Except for one. <laughs> Except for one. There was one casualty. She was... That was not my fault, though. That I absolutely tried to get her out of the fault. way. You, you did your best. All right. Did Ooh. we learn something new and important about the world? You guys the world is dangerous. Yes. You learned that bone puppets exist. Bone puppets are a thing. That's fun. Apparently. <laughs> and then and now we... my worldview is shattered. And did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? I thought we learned a lot about... Oh, well, we learned that there is an extra hunter in the campaign. Yeah, I mean, we learned a lot Without about... Without training, Xander could also become an, a capable monster hunter. Actually, wait a minute. Do you remember what your role was? For Actually, wait a sec. Wait. I what? need to... So here's the thing. Do you need me to roll something? No, we're good. I just want to bookend this with on your manipulate someone roll way back when on Xander. There was a second thing. He to rolled it. a twelve to do it. He did. There's a second thing to they become your ally for the rest of the mystery. The second part is if you do enough for them, they actually become your ally permanently. And I think you guys did quite a lot for Xander. I think he's... He's now our butler for life. We <laughs> brought him through to the end. Of the exactly. Show, I think so. he's absolutely indebted to you guys. Nice. He's 100% down for you guys. Totally our lackey forever. <laughs> Until death do us part. <laughs> Until death do someone part. <laughs> oh. Until death turns him into parts. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. I'm going to trade out crazy ass because I have no magic ability at the moment, apparently, for net friends. Because I I have the internet. Thanks, Al Gore. I Bone can... Puppet 2. Electric Boogaloo. Uh, I will put this pit work in my back. A.K.A. The time. End of Xander. <laughs> Hopefully not. No, I thought Xander was a fun yeah. fun addition to your guys' oh, yeah. team. He was great. So is I there mean, any... he's no... He's no... Uh, uh, he's no... Uh, Benson. <laughs> <laughs> what was the dude? So him just being... That was a very neat little red herring. Yeah, like, that was totally just a red herring. Fun. Him yeah, being yeah. The, the toy maker. That's why. He just keeps fucking up. It's just like, you know, we all blame the toy makers <laughs> for the things they do. But you know, there's no bigger crime than just being shit at making toys. You don't have to be a murderer. You could just be shit at making toys. There's nothing wrong with that. I sort of feel like... You scarred little Timmy uh, for life. That's enough. <laughs> I feel go. like that's totally something Megan would do, is, like, make weird dolls and not oh understand my why they're, like, really disturbing. It's like, fuck, this looked normal. <laughs> it looked normal to me. Why is everybody so crying? Uh, it's like I made, a, I made a barracuda with a goat's head. Like, isn't oh that God. cool? Like, what? That sounds terrifying. <laughs> I think my favorite part was just like slapping together random throwaway toy jokes. <laughs> like a llama with human hands for feet. <laughs> Cause why the hell not? But why though? <laughs> because why not? <laughs> Alright, apparently the Oscars are going on. Let Boys. me see. Oh, is, yeah. is there anything else you guys would like to say to wrap up our first mystery before I hit the stop button? It'd be awesome to have, like, one or two more new characters on the next one. Oh, I'm positive we will, for sure. Hopefully the word spreads. If not, NPCs! I mean, we had, like, Max is interested, Javi was interested, Christian's interested, Dalton is. I think it's just probably finding a, a better day or a day with better weather. 
Yeah. But Academy, Academy Award winner Bong Joon Ho. Nice. <gasps> nice. For uh, director and yeah. original screenplay. Nice. So that was the end of session one. Thank you both for playing. Thank you. Oh, Mystery anytime. Incorporated coming up next. Oh my god. Yeah, you guys should get a name. For your monster hunting duo so far, and you can just keep initiating people into the monster hunting profession.